You coming in like little baby, man, with the four pockets full, man. You got the he got the jury on this top around, man. Oh, What's yeah, going I, on? I had to go and get up with um Johnny Click Clack. Uh, 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 shout, shout, shout out to my boy FBG Butter, man. You know, I I had you see I got it double lid though, so my neck won't turn green. Yo, it's your boy Trish's News, man. Back at y'all with another one, man. Y'all already know I'm rocking with my boy Humble Soul, man. Make sure y'all wanna run them up, man. We got a lot of shit coming. I'm out. Check, check, check. Back again, back again, man. Live from Illinois. Got Trish's news in front of the camera. Um, a couple of months since our last conversation. You know, since then you still been, you know, you still been going crazy, dog. You've been on Vlad. Your subscribers still going up. Your views still going crazy. It's been a lot of different. Um, occurrences in Chicago. Um, that's hot topics right now that I like to get your perspective on. But before all of that, man, I've been hearing you talk about like you in film school now and doing different things, man. But just update the viewers, you know, who may not be tapped in on a day-to-day -day basis with your platform. Like what you got going on, bro? Oh man, film school, my same businesses, um, juggle YouTube and in between that <clears throat> and just um like stocks, fan duel, draft kings. Anything involving money, man, I'm on. I, I, I'm on it, man. Like, yeah. I, I, I wasted so much time, man, you know, in the streets. And time you can't get back. So you just got to hustle your ass off, you know, to get meet that standard. So when you get older, you, you won't have to, you know, worry about nobody taking care of you or none of that because you can put yourself in position. Because it'll get harder as you get older. It's, it's going to get harder. So. That's 100, man. Um, like, I, I'm just curious to know. Why well, start looking into like what to do behind the camera? Because you know, you on different platforms talking in front of the camera, and your channel is basically audio. You know, even when you live, you're not really showing your face. What made you start entertaining going to film schools? You gonna you know make some movies and all of that? What's the deal? Yeah, with that? um, I looked at it, bro, and I was um one day I was talking to Queen Lotus. Shout out Queen Lotus one two six. I was talking to Queen Lotus on the phone, and we was talking about like a show, a movie documentary we was talking about it and she was like yeah just don't let them lowball you you know she get the best advice so I was like you know what man I'm going to film school I got enough money I made enough money you know I'm going to film school and I'm gonna shoot my own movies I'm gonna learn how to shoot my own movies I'm gonna um, eventually like buy me a property and put my own rooms in there like sales and hospital rooms and all that and, and get it on you know, shout out to Bodil too, because Bodil, that tyrant, um, like father, like son, if y'all ain't seen that, go and get it. Man, um, Bodil, bro, you inspired me too. To, I know it can happen now. You showed me it can happen just by watching your <clears throat> shit, and I know it can happen now. So I, I'm on it, man. I'm working. I mean, yeah, shout out to Bodil. I know it's going crazy on Tubi. I think he got a part two that's going to Yeah, he drop. got a part two coming out too. I wonder how that's going to pan out because I know at the end, I think the father and the son both got hit up. Yeah, so, but they still can be alive though. They still can be alive. That's the thing man, about yeah. it, man. Um, man, I, I want to I ask you this though. So you talk about like not just YouTube, but investments. You said the fan duel and stuff like that. I know that can be risky. Had, were you like betting on like the Mavs and Celtics and all of that, dog? Hey, yeah, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go with what you gotta go with for show. I go with for show shit. Oh, you hear me? I go with for show shit. I ain't going with no, they might win. Like every time I'm going with Boston. I thought seeing Boston smoke them like that, like, and then even though Boston cheated. I feel like you said they cheat. Cool. Yeah, they cheated. I just feel like Porzingis, if you ain't playing no game through in the playoffs, bro, you just can't come, bro. You just can't come in the in the last of the championship, bro, and stop. <laughs> hell no, bro. Like, no, nah, that was a that was a big that was a big like hell no, nah, bro. Like the NBA rig, bro. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Man, so who's who's your NBA team though? Do you have an actual team? Like you a Bulls fan? I'm come a Bulls you? fan. Whether they win or lose, okay. bro. I love the Bulls, bro. You know, my dream always front row, front row, flow seats, family, my family, that shit. I want to be like the spike in the NM and shit, you know, especially once I start shooting movies and shit and they go get to going off. Man, the way it's going off camera, I don't know how much you want to highlight, but you coming in like little baby, man, with the four pockets full, man. You got the, he got the jury on this top around, man. Oh, What's yeah, going I, on? I had to go and get up with um, Johnny Click Clack. Uh, uh, shout, shout, shout out to my boy FBG Butter, man. 
you know, I had, I had, you see, I got a double lid though, so my neck won't turn green. But yeah, <laughs> you know, I had to go to Johnny Damn, Johnny Click Clock. Yeah. They ain't got no, they ain't, it ain't no place where you can go. It's right in the alley in the garage, man. They got all that shit on the racks in the garage, man. Shout out to, shout out to Butter though, man. How they do it? Hey, this dude a fool. Hey, man, what's going on? Um, our last conversation, you revealed, and I know you done talked about this multiple times, like, you know, Butter's mother, Butter's father. <clears throat> like, they both from uh, your, your, your block, Newtown. And you said that you've really made it a point to not actually, like, just bash them. Um, it seems like it's ups and downs with that, but for the most part, you don't just go in, go in, but more so recently, you know, he's been vocal, and Vlad TV. Lying like, like a motherfucker. But they, they are asking him about you, Yeah. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they are asking him about me, but he lying like a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, everything they ask him about, he lying like a motherfucker. You hear me? Like, about everybody. He just lying, bro. He just going that motherfucker and lie. I, I, hey, look, I respect you getting money and all that, but he lying, though. I ain't going to need a lie to you, bro. Like, so when I see that, you know, I just respond and I just respond to him, hear what he say, and then just come with facts. Everything you saying is a lie. You said this here, you said this here, you said this here, you said this here. See, he going so many interviews so much. That he starting to say he start he say different shit every time. Oh, you think he forgetting? Yeah, he forgetting. <clears throat> That's them drugs, man. You forget. You under the influence. You know, yeah. yeah. So you know, I really ain't got nothing. But I I was wishing the well, like you know, cause we you know just go ahead and take care of your kids. You know, after the trial and all that. But he still with the shit black and you know all that shit. I ain't with that shit, bro. I'm just getting my money, giving it for the kids. Talk talk to the kids. I've been shot up, chased people down, public record. You know what I'm saying? So I've been on both sides of the field. So I can tell the kids, you know what I'm talking about, what I've been through. Even if you don't want to be like me, you know, I'm a life lesson to not be like me either. You hear me? So mm. long as that, long as I do that, man, then I did my job, bro. So that, that stuff really don't, does it? I mean, uh, you ain't got to be as vulnerable as you want to be. Does that stuff off camera bother you knowing that you actually know his people people like know his family family you know what i'm saying seeing the stuff he says about you no it, it don't it don't bother me because he lying a uh, lie can't bother you man like uh, you know my fucking lying you can't do nothing but laugh bro. lies be having wheels though yeah like like <clears throat> they, you know the internet it's it's, it's two sides it's two things on the internet they gonna ride with you or they not on the internet bro like whether he lying or not it's some fans on there that be in the comments like, but the realest, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that's how people think. You can't change a person's, that's their opinion of him. You know what I'm saying? But he do be lying. You know what I'm talking about? He, he be lying on motherfuckers. He be lying about situations. Ain't no need to lie. You know what I'm talking about? I called, I called George, K.I. brother, her twin. I called him when he got out of jail. He'll, he'll confirm this, vouch for it. A comment under your, comment up under, under Humble Soul if you ever see this. You know, I called him and asked him. I say, man, I ain't going to talk about your sister no more because that shit fucked me up, saying her like that. He say, man, you can talk about my sister. She know you. She respect you. You hear me? So that long as you got people like that, you know, telling me that, then I, I'm cool with it. Shout out to Mama K.I. too. Yeah, I saw her on DJU uh, um, with a couple of months ago. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man, seemed like pretty, like, smooth. Yeah, lady, Mama K.I., every time I was over there, like, I seen her working. She was at work. You know what I'm saying? They don't be knowing, they don't be knowing that some of these parents had jobs. They kids, you can't watch your kids and be at work. You hear me? So some shit even end up happening. People be like, how shit end up happening? Nah, bro. If that lady at work working two jobs, cause she got three, four kids, you know, you got to take that into consideration too, at least. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least. Like, I know her daughter was out in the streets and her kids, but goddamn, you know. Mm -hmm. If she if she don't pay the bills, then she a bad mom. If she don't go to work and take care of them, she a bad mom. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, you, it, it, you just got to weigh it all out, man. I be seeing the comments and shit, but, yeah, yeah I, I'm here to motivate them, though. Keep pushing Mama K.I. and all the mamas. Yeah, yeah shout out to them, man. Um, <clears throat> like, you, you may, may mention to the, the whole day how it messed you up. So, mentally, like, to this day, 2024, that's over, what, 10 years ago now? 10 Around years 10 ago. years or something like that? April, April. Yeah, April was 10 years. So, after you witnessed that, because you don't talked about, you said you don't been on both sides of the gun, you don't lost multiple people to gun violence. 
et cetera, man, just go growing up in like the different environments you was in. But why does that particular like situation still hunt you? Um, me telling KI, like me telling her when Lil J and them and they got on the internet and put her and butter in this chair, it's a famous picture. It's a famous picture, man, with them got bees in their hair. And it say the Rim Twins, the one who made Old Block. And when I seen that picture, I, K.I. had came over. See, people don't, I got to explain this. K.I. had came over, though. But I'm going I'm to talk, but I'm going to come back to it. See, the crib that we was in, which is Boss Crazy, you interviewed him. Man, shout out to Boss Crazy. You got Boss Crazy, them age. You got, he got another brother. He got a little brother who Taekwon real, them age. Then he got a sister who took a friend. And all them friends, they, they her friends, K.I., Tuka, Model, all them, his sister and them friends. So when I say, when they say, oh, Trench News around them kids, nah, bro, I'm in a, we in one room, we in one room, then another room, then another room. That's they friends. You know what I'm saying? But we in the same crib. For sure. So we know each other. We probably all ate off the same plate before, being in the crib, ate off this lady's plates because she fed all us. In the crib, Super Bowls, all that shit. Child Mama Boosie, sure. you know? It ain't one that I hang with them, bro. They was around, though. I was around. That's how it is on the block. I ain't hang with no fucking kids, you know what I'm talking about? But they was around. I know them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just to say that. But, yeah, I told K.I. I had told K.I. like, K.I., you don't want to be claiming that shit, bro. You know, it was like O.D., like, he the biggest in the old block. Like, he the biggest before... The cameras before bang bang. OD was OD. You hit me, his name was OD. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, damn, bro, like, you don't want them problems. And she was like, I got to. We look weak over here. You hit me? We gonna look weak. And then she, she just turned into Snoop off the wire shit, running around, boom, 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 boom. Move around, man. You know? I don't know about all the murders, man, but far as like chasing niggas and scam people, hell yeah, she did it well. On my mama, I seen niggas run. I seen grown man. All right, I'm, I ain't gonna serve no more. You hear me? I done seen her walked up, huh? Cray Cray, walk up to the porch. Hey, bro, make this your last day serving if you ain't paying us. Nigga be like, what y'all want? When everybody walk off, nigga tell them what y'all want. I gotta feed my family. I'll pay y'all. You hear me? Like that, like that type <clears throat> shit, bro. So it f with me knowing that I try to help her, and then she end up still losing her life, bro. Yeah. So that's what. So it's not more so act, the actual day. It's just what led up to it. Yeah, what led up to it. Mm. Like it was just the internet shit after that. After that picture, that picture went viral on Twitter. With the uh, with the bees. With the bees. Two, yeah. Huh? Butter sitting next to each other, bro. Mm -hmm. and that. And, and they do actually look like they look related, dog. Yeah, they you, they ain't I, related though. Yeah, they I used just, to think they. Were, they just yeah. friends, homies. You yeah, know what I'm saying. But you said the real brother. You say is he? So he's home now. The real brother home. GI Joe. I don't think is he. He ain't just super active on social media. Yeah, he on social media. Oh, I ain't he in do, tune with him now. He I don't do heard his name multiple he times. Do oh, okay. He okay. do interviews and everything, man. He do interviews and everything, man. You got to get GI on the couch, man. GI, he 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 um like I told him, I told GI like you ain't got like. Like, I love you off me knowing you. Like, you ain't got to kick it with me mm -hmm. or none of that. You know what I'm talking about? But I respect you off, you know, you. You respect me off me, you know, and he understand that. I tell him all that, oh, you sure. know, because ain't, ain't, I don't want no nigga to feel no type of way, uh, none of that. If they do, you know, I just let them know, like. No, nah, that's know, 100. That's 100. He man. a real dude. Um, now, I, I did want to ask you this, too. You said, so, OD was OD before Chief Keith and all of that, the, uh, Old block, you straight? Oh. Yeah, no. Nah, oh, no, nah, I was gonna ask. So, <clears throat> I also heard you say like, you know how it's kind of. I've interviewed certain people where they talk about like I he did. My wife. Go ahead. Oh, you said play. Uh, you know he was he was he was out there, but I've heard you say in a Vlad interview that he's not like how they tried to portray him to be. So why did he have that certain type yeah, of reputation? Yeah, they portraying O D to be like he was a savage. Like he was just going crazy. Like nah, he was a player, bro. Like, he wanted to be fucked with, but he was a player, bro. Like, he was a player, bro. Like, he loved females, you know, brushing his hair, shit like that, bro. Like, he a player. He quiet. He, them quiet motherfuckers, that's the truth. You got to watch him. You hear me? Like, I ain't going to say he ain't like that. He was the top dog over there. And all them look up to him. That's why it's so, they go so crazy for him. That's why that name, Old Block, is so big. 
You see how many people got killed and, and that, that block ain't never changed his name? It's old block, bro. Like he 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 was quiet, bro. He was smart. You know, he ain't killed Tuke either. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't do nah, that. Nah, he didn't. <clears throat> he didn't, bro. Like a lot of people just be putting shit on people and you know, just to be putting it on them, bro. He ain't do that shit, bro. On that thing, bro. Mm. Like niggas just niggas just heard through the grapevine some shit and, and, and they said it, bro. They they probably, you know what I'm talking about, he got around. Oh, he did it. He ain't do that shit. I don't know. Everybody know he ain't do that shit. Man, that's crazy. You said he was so he was the top dog over there. But if you think about Tukaville STL, they named it after Tuka. But from what I understand, he wasn't really no. Yeah, I ain't never seen Tuka do nothing. Man. I'm talking about like no. I think he. I don't even think he did. He grow up. I don't, no, I don't know. No, Tuka was yeah. 15. That's what I'm. Nah, saying. he ain't grow up over there. Tuka and them stayed on like 71st. And they moved over. Like yeah, they moved over there. They stayed on like 71st or something like that. Only way, only way people that I know is when I came on in 2002, when I came over there and during the years, none of them from FBG was over there but Dutchy on their thing. Dutchy, KI and them. Um, KI and them stayed on St. Lawrence. Dutchy and them people was on roads on their thing, bro. All the rest of them came from some other, all the rest of us came from somewhere else. On that thing, bro. I, I thought I heard in an interview that uh, the dude Young said that uh, they they came up over there. Um, yeah, they came from they came from the back of the yards. Oh, they came. Oh, so they didn't. He didn't grow up. Over no, there. no. Oh. When I first came, I came on 63rd, 2002. Our building got fell down 2001. Right, we right. was on 63rd, 2002. Like we was in Parkway. We was all on Cottage Grove. Sure. We was everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? When the buildings fall, bro, ain't nobody telling the buildings y'all can't come over because they gonna be over there deep. Even if they got to take your shit, they try like a, a couple blocks weren't going when the projects fell down. A couple blocks was, they were standing on business like, hell no, nah, y'all ain't. But a lot of people just, they just oh, them. that's folks now. That's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you come from the projects, this nigga with money, all the guns, because the project's gone now. So, you know, you got crates and crates and crates and crates, you know, like shit like that. And you can pay motherfuckers off to flip. Hey, be with us. Mm. You know, you got dope money. Buildings is just doing 90000 a night. You know? No exaggeration. No exaggeration, man. bro. 90,000. Man, no exaggeration, bro. No exaggeration, bro. For real. Because I remember you said you robbed some like a, a dope line or a weed line or something that was doing like 20,000. Oh, yeah. They was doing like 22, 23. That type of money in one day. In one day, bro. That's crazy. In one day. It's a, it, it's a money. It's just that people don't want money. That violence. Yeah, yeah. that violence. If everybody just, Ur! hey, look. Hundred dollar, hundred dollars for a tray five. Hundred supply, and especially in Chicago, you can get that yeah. shit. Yeah. On that thing, you can get it. It's just that people, they, you know, they, they rather be known for violent shit and think that it's gonna get them somewhere, but it don't. It don't. It don't. It don't. It don't. When Being you, positive, you get everything, man. I ain't gonna lie. When, when you was coming up, did you ever? Want to be like that dude, like how it's glamorized now to be, you know, like a killer. Like back then, did you have like an infatuation with like putting in work, like you looked up to the to the shooters and Hell all that? Hell nah. Hell nah, bro. Hell nah, bro. Cause you know that's that's what's what's cool. Hell nah, bro. I wanted to <clears throat> be in computers or like some shit like that, bro. Like when I was coming up and I was in school, like Bill Gates and them was the idols. And it back in them schools that I was in, like the motherfuckers looking up to Bill Gates and all the rest of them rich motherfuckers. You hear me? You know, like that's the that was the talk. Like people wanted to be like, you know, Fat Man and all all other shit, bro. Ain't nobody wanted to be this shit, bro. I don't know no no nigga who said that I want to be this when they was in school. Them be raps. When I was in school, the teacher asked me what I wanted to be, and I told the teacher, I want to be a hustler. I want to be a, a gangster. You hear me? All that's bullshit, bro. You told me you want to be a fucking police officer, and now you telling us not. Do you feel me, though? Like, for real. Let's be real, humble soul. When I was in school, they asked what I wanted to be, bro. It was yeah. like computer technician or some yeah. shit. This, in, this when I was young, I want to yeah. work on computers. You know what I'm saying? And as I got older and learned what a computer technician is, I'm like, I want to do computer technician. They get paid all this money. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Who the f wanna be? I wanna be like John Gotti when I grow up. Like, come on, man. Then you see the end result of what John Gotti. That's suicidal. That's you wanna be like him. 
You want to live like him, like the life and the lamb, like, but don't nobody want to be like him when you got to sit in Mary in Illinois for the rest of your fucking life. Don't nobody want that part, but everybody wants the suit, the tie, the Teflon Don running out the courtroom, I beat another one. Everybody want to be like that. They want to be that side, but they don't want to be that other side, the flip, the bad shit, man. you know, that come with it. Man, speaking of, speaking of that, man, I think social media really, in Chicago, not to put the full blame on them, but like, isn't there's no denying like just the impact that Chicago done had. Drill fucked up our yeah. society, Chicago bro, drill. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Chicago drill. Yeah. Not New York drill, not no fucking London drill, uh, none of that. Chicago drill fucked the rural up, bro. Everywhere you go, they saying the same lingo. Op, slide, da 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 da, smoking on dead people. Man, Chicago, the first motherfuckers I heard say they smoking on somebody, sipping on somebody, and all that shit, bro. And it's around the world, bro. Now everybody sliding, everybody riding around in cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like it, it, it's just, it's out of order, bro. Then they off drugs. That's what make it scary. Yeah. They off the drugs, not enough. Niggas off drugs with 100 shots with switches on the motherfuckers. You hear me? Like, come on, man. That's crazy. Man, do, do you feel like that's an escape for them? So when they do have to put in work, that can kind of pump they, they, they heart up? Is, is that what it is? Or you think it's more so just they really just addicts? <laughs> no, that shit be eating them up. That shit be eating them up. Oh, just them the murders. Oh, the trouble. Yeah, the murders. Yeah, yeah. The murders eat you up. Yeah. You could tell. They eat, they eat you up, bro. They eat you up. I'm telling you, that shit eat you up. Shooting people. Ain't knowing that they got hit up and shit like that. That shit hit you up, bro. Because you now, now you either on, I killed these people, their family coming, these coming, I got to watch out for these, his guys. You think about all that shit. So you getting high and nodding off and woofing on that, y'all ain't going to do nothing, nah, 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 And then end up getting knocked. Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Man, hey, it looked like that's a great segue, man. He um, Rising rapper, he seemed like he was one of the next to really put on for the drill scene in Chicago. Um, he went viral from his DJU interview, not necessarily in a positive way, but you know, breaking down the perk and snorting it and all of that stuff. But then you see multiple lives, him bragging about putting in work and this, that, and the third. Like the, the rumors that he was tied to the, uh, that shooting that took place downtown, Chicago, oh, outside yeah. that school with the two, with the two teenagers kids. got killed and all of that, bro. Like, but then footage came out recently showing that he got hit up, like uh, allegedly on a hit. Like it, why he's he buzzing though? He getting hundreds of thousands of views. You know he traveling. You know what I'm saying doing the vlogs. He looked like a smooth dude too, man. It's like very surprised youngster. He talking about he ain't jump off the porch that long ago, and he just before he could really take off and get out of the hood. I don't really know his living circumstances like that, but before he could really transition, he got his life taken. You know what I'm saying? Doing what he was rapping about, though. Like, what's your thoughts on all of that, dog? I ain't gonna lie. First of all, I want to say condolences to that girl he was with, because she seemed like she was, like, on her shit. She, she was on her shit, and she know a part of him that we don't. She was trying to show it. Like, yeah, y'all probably seen this, but... She showed the part when he doing like this. TikTok I ain't never videos. did no shit yeah. like this. And then I ain't never did that shit. You hear me? So know. to see that, that <laughs> surprised me, man. Because all we seeing is, I killed two niggas. I'm like, what the fuck? I had to turn off the video. I couldn't believe it, Humble. I couldn't believe it, Humble. I couldn't believe that this guy was saying this shit. Ask them niggas who took my watch. You hear me? Like, I'm like, over a watch, bro? You did some shit like that, and most likely the whites like these. Fake. Most likely. <laughs> Ain't no way in the hell that man taking a new watch every motherfucking day from somebody. Where they getting the watches from, bro? What store got all these rollies in and all these motherfucking... You hear me? Like, come on, let's be real, man. Yeah. I ain't know you, was, you said that's just... Oh, not to veer off. You said that's fake with you. With yeah, you. This, that's why I got my... I got like three layers up under there. I don't know. That's why you be seeing Butter do this. Butter be having that itch. Hey, Yo, yeah. shit, I'm tired. Green, you wear that shit. On a serious note, though, man. You said... No, nah, get back on you, man. All right. Yeah, it's a sad situation. Yeah, but man. rest in peace to his, that, that girl, though. You know, if he had kids and all that. But yeah, Bloodhound Lil Jeff, he was like, like when I seen the video of the, the other killing, like when I seen him chasing dude down, dude jump up the stairs. 
And then, you know, you see him fly back. You see him fall down. But on the video, he parachuted in. It's like he came out of nowhere like the boogeyman, bro, chasing dude. You see dude run, and then you see Lil' Jeff come up behind him, and then you see him jump back. I'm like, damn, bro. I thought he was the dude that was running at first. I thought he was the one in the yellow, too. I made a video. I had to apologize for it, though, because I, I did think that. Because somebody on the block mm -hmm. had hit my page up. You know what I'm saying? Then I got people who stay over there, too, all around there. And they was like, man, Joe, dude in the yellow is Lil' Jeff, bro. They chased him down, woo, 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 and stood over him. So I'm like, damn. But then they was like, no, nah. they were saying that um, Lil' Jeff chased somebody. And they then dude stood over Lil' Jeff. After they knocked him down, the rest of them bullets, them boom, 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 boom. That was them hitting up Lil' Jeff, bro. The, the camera turned. You can't see that on camera. But that's what they seen, bro. That's what these people watch, bro. And it's terrorizing, bro. And then they in broad daylight, bro. Kids could have been out there. Thank God there wasn't no innocent people out there, bro. Like, that's crazy, bro. I saw a car like pull off, like the dude that I thought was Lil Jeff before he started running. It's like he was in a car or something, talking to some people or something. He, he looked like he was busting a little swerve or something. Oh, that's probably. Looked like he was busting yeah, the swerve. Yeah, yeah. The person was looked like the person was trying to test it out too long. And then the next thing you know, you see him. He heard a ping. He probably hit the car. He heard the gun go off. Mm -hmm. And then once the gun went off, that's when that chase was on. He he waited behind the car. He must have seen. Somebody on the other side of the car, because he was doing like this at first, and then he just, once he took off. Oh, you see somebody chasing him. He bailed up the stairs. You see him chasing him, and then you see the Lil' Jeff just fly back. Lil' oh. Jeff never got the chance to run up the stairs. Oh, so he, so he didn't run. Dude through. ain't run through no gangway, bro. He ran up the stairs, bro. He ran up the stairs to the house, bro. And all them shells that's on the porch, that let you know that somebody from the porch was getting, they, they was eating it up, bro. Lil' Jeff Shells can't jump on that porch, man, from where he was shooting at. They would have been all around, on the ground. Damn. Yeah, that was dude. Dude had something big, bro. Dude ain't had no little shit. Hit him up. And then it's four shooters. Dude on the run now, though. He on the run. What if he ain't had nothing to do with nothing? He don't even know. Like, he don't, he probably, he don't even know this in these niggas. You know what I'm saying? If he just protecting his little cousin or nephew or something. He had some gunshots and he, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Now he tricked off the streets, especially if you're a felon, arm um, a bitch, rude, all that shit. Cause he gotta if you you gotta go down for something, you know. If, if you can... a felon, you and you had a gun, I'd take the gun case though if I was him. But how can they prove it was him though? Cause if he not on camera, somebody going to jail in that house. Hey, look, somebody, I'm, somebody talking. Hey, look, I'm pretty sure they knocked on that door. All them damn shells, man. Hey, look, the shells came from right here, man. Yeah, then they got the camera. The you hear me? Like then they got the ring yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. They could tell that somebody some ran off or, or yeah. you hear me? Yeah. They probably got him running out the crib after that shit. After they done pulled off, he probably took off. Man, no mask on. So much more footage they just had. Yeah, they just clipped it, bro. They, You know what they did? They just showed the part what they wanted out. They showed the part where... They was getting chased. They the victims. That's the part they showed. With Lil Jeff and them people shooting and doing all that shit, they showed all that. They ain't show they self. They ain't show nothing about them. Yeah. They, show, they show the part that they needed for court. That you need for, we didn't murder anybody. They came and tried to kill us. You hear me? Yeah. They gonna get off though. They gonna get off though. You think so? Hell yeah, it's they gonna get off. Yeah. It's four motherfucking crackheads out there. <laughs> Shit, what you want them to do? He said crackhead. Yeah, shit, man, that's some crackhead shit. Brett busts down the pill on the table on the DJU. This ain't no, this ain't no little ass platform. Hundreds of thousands. Willy people. Wonk yeah, Wonk yeah. channel. Yeah. This this motherfucker DJU. This shit finna go around to everybody. Went viral. Too. Hell yeah. And yeah. you doing that shit, bro? Nah, no, that that ain't cool, bro. Yeah. I wish somebody could have helped him, bro. One of his real homies, if he had one. Could have told him, bro, like, nah, bro, you, you finna make it. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is he doing on the drill and he the face? I thought they said he was the mayor on the couch. The little shorty said, little Jeff for mayor. If he the mayor, why the fuck is he on the head? Is that, not to compare him, but is that something you could have saw somebody like King Bun doing? Like, I, you see how he was the one who popped out and, and took off on Quando Rondo. You know what I mean? And he the, he the brother. That's what they was trying to be like, though. That's what they was trying to be like. They Rich used Jeff to now. Oh, go ahead. Bro. King Von said you got to hide two bodies. That's who they used to be trying to be like. 
That's who Lil Jeff Nam try to be like, bro. He was on DJU, and he said, King Von said, you got to have two body at least to go to my school, to go to my class, my murder class. You ain't see that video? Oh, man, it's a video out there with Lil Jeff talking on that motherfucker. He said, you got to at least have two bodies to come to my school, to come to murder school. Like, he, he already know what he was up against, man. Uh, but you said that stuff will eat you up, too, though. Eat your ass up. And they the youngsters too, man. Um, I ain't super familiar with Chicago like that. Like, so what? What is technically like that area? The blood, the blood. Is it, I be seeing bloody hound. Then I'm seeing blood hound. Know if it's people be making arrows or something. But you know, regardless, like what? What area is that, dog? I ain't Chicago? gonna lie. Lil Jeff now from Drill City. That's called Drill City. They had a rapper that's over that name, Lil Leaky. I used to listen to him. Um, he he was a good rapper from over there. Like he could have probably made it at the time. Um, and a couple more people I knew from over there, like Cairo, little brother from over there. He oh, got bro. he in jail though. I think he got like twenty four years at a hundred percent, some shit like that. Um, he from over there, so I know people over there. That area dangerous, but I don't know where the bloodhound shit came from, man. Like I thought they were when they said, you know what about the bloodhounds? I'm like. I know ain't no motherfucking bloods moved to Chicago and start yeah. acting all wild and shit. That was the first thing I thought. Like, nah, bro, you ain't finna tell me no bloods here, too. We got the Venezuelans. We got all these not the bloods and Crips here. Like, hell no. Nah. But, no, nah, they was talking about a group of guys like they like Drill City, 400 East, and a couple of more blocks. The BD blocks. They just all together. And then they mix, like, most of them BDs, though, all of them BDs, most of them. Like, they probably got a few, a GD or two up in there with them, but. Okay, so you said it's called Drill City, but that's, so that's the east side. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that, oh, yeah, man. that's the east side. That's the east side. I say, like, that part is the east side going back, but we really, we really label the east side anything from Stony on back. Okay. Stony on back. That's what it's supposed to be, stony. But that's the east side. I consider that over east, southeast, or whatever you want to say it. So how far where the shooting took place, where he got killed, how far is that from their hood? What, what area was that where the shooting took place? From where the shooting took place, 20 blocks. Damn. Like 17 blocks. And that, yeah, 17 blocks. How you into it with somebody? Hey, they, 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 got, they got all this Lincoln. That Lincoln shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That That's Link, every group that I seen Link from the drill scene, they end up getting into it, bro. STL JoJo World. Tay Town Lamron. Every group. Every group. It never fails, bro, when you link with a motherfucker. Whether they was getting some money together, scamming or not. Somebody get backdoed and killed. Now y'all blocks into it. You, or, or if he just get killed, they blame it on y'all. The reason why he got killed. Instead of saying, man, this nigga was a loose screw. They probably ain't had nothing to do with him. You know, motherfucker just hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. You know? Um, what did you think when you saw his father hop on there, man? Um, I know you mentioned on the live that you had DM'd uh, Lil Jeff's father. I, I don't know if it was before or after he made the post saying, you know, he didn't die, y'all didn't get him. He went looking for y'all and what happened happened, clear the streets, like the saga continues. You know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much he said something along them lines. But I know you had reported on that, but you also mentioned that you had kind of hit him up behind the scenes. How did that conversation go? And what did you think about like him putting that out there in the public with things so fresh, you know what I'm saying, after losing his son. You think it was just emotional? But just It's a two-part question, you know what I'm saying? Man, when he has did that shit, when I seen it, bro, because I had my notification on, on his page, and when I seen it, I'm like, what the fuck? This man ain't never just put that shit out there. You hear me? Like, not right now. This shit fresh. Super fresh. This shit is fresh. He ain't even been buried yet. You hear me? So they looking for blues clues, you know, but that's what niggas do. And then niggas call everybody else the police. A lot of these niggas, they rid of the police, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see it all the time. They get on big platforms like No Jumper and all them that's going to go around to the rural. Other people who don't know about this shit. Now they know about it. I murdered him. I killed him. We stepped on him. 
You know, what type of shit is that, bro? And then they never say, I step on motherfuckers. They always say we. They always say we. You know what we is, right, Rico? We, Rico, we, Rico. You hear me? Mm. That's what we is when you say we on everything, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, I ain't never seen nobody either. No real nigga. Because they all say they real niggas. I don't see no real nigga say, hey, bro. No, don't say that. Hey, clip that out, Adam. Or well, clip that out, Humble. Hey, Humble. Hey, take that out, bro. We can't even rock out like that. We can't even go like that. You hear me? Or my homie, if he get on the song, same song, and say, we, we bouncing out a car like this. Like, it's only so many scenes that you can say it before the news. Be like, yeah, the suspect bounced out the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, you, you putting heat on y'all self, bro. Yeah, yeah you, y'all giving the information. They mad at Trap Lord Ross, but guess what Trap Lord Ross said? All the way to fuck overseas. Another country. You know what I'm talking about? London, England, wherever. Um, Scotland, some motherfucking well. He know all the shit that's going on. Why? Because y'all tell him. Yeah, they, they put it on the internet. Y'all tell them. Y'all tell them about everybody y'all killed and everything. And he just match it up. He just match it up with the scanner, the homicide report, the, the description of the person. Man, you, niggas, you niggas take pictures before y'all kill somebody and then after and then wonder how the Reddit lined it up. <laughs> this the clothes he had on. This the clothes that the suspect had on. And then you put them in a the mirror together and they add up. You hear me? Dog, I saw somebody put that online about the dude, Lil Jeff. There was like the hoodie he had on. He was just online in that hoodie and some more stuff. I don't know how true it is. But yeah, yeah, it. yeah. That's how they matching it up. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that was crazy. They matched it up like that. They match up everything, bro. Yeah. The internet is cold, bro. Yeah. The it, internet is cold. If, if nobody don't solve it, the internet, the internet got it, bro. They always right, bro. Dog. They I, all, the internet always right. Every time I see them say something. Like the fat shit with fats with his cousin Dewey folk. The internet said I was on there. I don't know where these people from. They could have been from West Bumblefuck. And they was telling Dewey folk, don't trust fats. You gonna die. And man, I'm talking about soon he got over fats, he was dead, bro. Fats and them killed him, left him on the, in, in the tree in the car, killed two motherfuckers. Him man, this homie, bubble down. And then ran in the crib. <laughs> God damn it, 10 feet away from the car where the car crashed at, man. Where all the guns, where all the murder weapons and everything get. Like, come on, man. Man, what yeah. you think about that? That's it. Man, before we even, I want to ask you about that, too, because that's crazy. That's slimy, man. Like, the, But the yeah, they, the they tell on themselves. That's what I think about the Lil Jeff shit. But I was going to ask, so what do you think about, so the other part, what was that conversation like with him behind the scenes in the DM? When you messaged him, his father? Or were you just trolling when you oh, said nah, that? Oh, no, I messaged him for real. I'm like, I'm like, um, man, bro, it's a lot of innocent people. When you say clear the streets, clear the streets mean like, I, 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 you know what I'm talking about? I ain't always been a saint. So I, I know when we in a meeting and a nigga say clean the streets, that mean anybody walking within them areas that we in tour with spray. You hear me? Shower posse him. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that's what it's going to come to. Anybody that's out there. Nigga could just be getting off a bus. Got off work. Fresh. You know, we all dress alike. And get killed, bro. Whole time. He wasn't no gang member or shit. Mm. Like, for real, bro. So what, what did he say? Did he did he understand where you was coming from? No, nah, he, he deleted his whole shit. Oh, he didn't even respond to you? No, nah, he uh, deleted it. Oh, uh, okay. No, nah, he, he looked at it. He did oh, and everything, yeah. yeah. He, he ain't go in all your. No, nah, he. Oh uh, uh, yeah, he did say some jazzy shit, but the other one, the other one, be with Lil Jeff. He the one was whooping. Oh, uh, um, is a rapper. Oh, the the, Bert, 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 the Bert, Bert. Yeah, you keep saying his name. Yeah, why you yeah, said, yeah. That's why you said his name. Hey, yeah, Bert. yeah, yeah. He come through. Hey, you don't need to know what's going on. I ain't got to know what's going on, nigga. I see what's going on. I see you on that camera. Your homie slipped in that motherfucking thing, nigga. Damn. On that thing, bro. Like. I don't be, hey, look, if you want to be famous, I'm going to make you famous. I, if, if they want to get on there and say they killed somebody and I, we did this, boom, 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 on live and bragging about it, they start, they start, I'm, I'm going to report about it, bro. I'm going to report about it, bro. I don't give a fuck about it. nobody else report. I'm going to report about it because you should never hit that red button if you ain't want nobody to report about it.
You hear me? See, I mean, that goes back to what you were saying about no real dude stepping in and saying, nah, delete this portion or don't say this in a song. But if you already know you're being recorded or this going to go out to the masses, shouldn't they already be responsible enough? But you said they under the influence too. Yeah. Though. And then they study telling you when you watch the news. The first thing <clears throat> they say is they use social media and all that to terrorize people. You hear me? They use social media as a tool. Go and look at every video that a motherfucker get Rico. Everywhere. They going to say, we got them because they use social media. Part of, the, part of the reason. How they got them for sure. Because not only do they got the murder weapons in the videos that the person said that they killed somebody with. or You know what I'm saying? Like It's just, it, it's just out of hand, man. To kill somebody and then get on there and rap about it or get on the internet and say that we did it. It's crazy, bro. It's yeah. crazy as fuck on that thing, bro. You know, you was making videos about him before he got killed. Did he ever personally reach out to you, Lil Jeff? Because you was talking about him like after you saw the DJU interview. And from there, you know, this is before he got killed. Did, did anybody ever holler at you then from that crew? No. They ain't never say nothing. It was only after he got killed. Yeah, they, they only after he got killed. Yeah. Once they start seeing them video, you know, once your videos get over that 40, 50,000, everybody is seeing that shit now. So it's, a, it's get the woofing and shit. You know, motherfuckers get the woofing. And, but I don't mind, man. I came from the same place they came, bro. They just see me on YouTube, calm, cool, collecting. And, you know, they underestimate, you know. Yeah. But, but I, I'm like one of them old niggas. You reach, I teach on everything, bro. Like, for real. And I ain't going to be around nowhere that I ain't want it. <laughs> I don't be around places that I ain't want it. You know what I'm talking about? So... You know, we ain't going the same places. Mm -hmm. Places I go to now, what I'm going to spend in there, they're going to shut that motherfucker down. They're going to be like, hey, look, <laughs> he's spending what? He's paying our rent for the money. We ain't, you know what I'm talking about? He paying our rent for the money. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Humble Soul, too, man. <laughs> shout out to Humble Soul, man. Hey, butter, man. Hey, butter, man. When you do interviews, man, shout out to Humble Soul, man. Shout out to Humble Soul, man. On everything. Everybody can't get this, man. Shout out to Humble Soul, though, man. I appreciate you, I'm so I always feed my family. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Oh, he we... came in like that, dog. No, he balling on the low. Hey, don't tell him yeah, when he slid that... up in, man. But I, I was gonna I was gonna uh... <laughs> Hey, I was gonna ask you this, man. The the transition to something positive real quick. Um take a little break, bro. Um like with YouTube, you know, you've been on YouTube but it's uh, like almost three years now. Around three years. You don't um, made over a thousand videos, you don't went viral multiple times. Um, has the advice changed or the approach changed in your opinion for how to blow up on YouTube for somebody tuning in who just getting started out, bro? Like any game that's changed since the last interviews we done about how to blow up on YouTube? Dog? Be you yourself, do you. Be yourself and do you, man. Everybody be trying to be like somebody or clicking up with people, bro, do you. On everything, do you. Everybody be trying to, they be focused on the wrong shit, bro. That's why I'm growing and I'm starting to, you know, I see the bigger picture. I already got, I already got YouTube up against me with the 55% they taking. So you think I'm finna be on here playing games and arguing with people and all that hell? Nah, I'm chasing the sack. Cause that's the only way you gonna be able to help the young niggas to see. We see trenches, news got it. Oh, we finna get this shit. That's what I want. It ain't about you surpassing me. It's about you taking care of your family and feeding your family, bro. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Like, for real. And I learned that. I spent so many years in the streets, bro, and, 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 and ain't got a dime. I watch niggas come to, go to work, come up. I watch a nigga move on the block on roads. Moved on the block. We outside every day. He going to work on the bus. Then he get a putt-putt. Then he get a motherfucking little, little BMW. Now, then he get a Range Rover. Then he telling us, hey, y'all, I see y'all, man. I'm moving to, um, I'm moving to motherfucking uh, West, West Cucamonica. You hear me? He done came up. We still standing there, though. We ain't got a dime. We, we still, we probably asking for cigarettes as he been coming in every day. That's crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Like some shit like that, bro. So I ain't never going back to that. Man, what's the what's the advice to, to stay consistent? Like you got businesses and, and investments outside of like um, the internet, you know, but you still 
for the most part drop at least two videos a day you go live a lot you know you have a lot of people tune in to watch your content like how do you still balance that and then you you're a father you're a husband like what's the what's the what's 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 like two to three tips man to just keep it going man because you can get in the slump and you can get comfortable or you just throw in a towel and just get the nine to five not saying there's nothing wrong with balancing youtube with a nine to five but like how do you personally like stay consistent with youtube um how i stay consistent with youtube man i just drop my shit tell my stories Tell the story how it is when it come across. Just tell it like it is and just, you know what I'm talking about? Everything, and, and, and people got to understand something too. Everything can be an opinion. If I if I report a story and I'm talking about it, then that's my opinion of the situation of, of, of what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like like when, when they watch it, when you watch a story, it, it's your opinion. Hey, what you think about that? What you think about the shot this week? And then you tell me. And then I say, oh, man, I don't think it was like that, bro. I think it was, ooh, ooh. you know, we got two different opinions, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, I just stay consistent, man. <clears throat> I just drop my content, you know. Uh, I be, you know, I'm talking about me and my son. We go dirt biking and shit in between videos or when I ain't at school, go, we go jet skiing. We got two jet skis. So, Damn. you know, I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to just chill, bro. I'm just trying to chill and. You just you know, living, you living, man. Yeah, I'm just living, bro. <clears throat> Checking back in, man. So we took a brief intermission, but we took a brief intermission getting back to it. Um, you know, recently it was a conversation on a popular Chicago platform, uh, DJU, shout out to him. He had um, an interview with Lil J live from, from jail. I think he in Cook County. Oh, no, where you say he at right now, Lil J? Um, he in Winnebago County, Rockford. Okay, so but uh, that's that's still that's still yeah, Illinois. He in the feds though. Oh, he in federal. It's a fed federal, holding. Federal. Okay, it's a county feds. for they county, but and within they county, they got a fed pot like a fed okay. side. Okay, so that's and that's for the switch for the uh, he got caught yeah. switch, allegedly. Allegedly, he said he said uh, a cop pinned it on him. The same cop that arrested him in the past or something like that. Uh, Somebody get killed on they watch and you out here again riding around. You think you think they ain't on your ass? Like yeah. that's crazy for Lil J even go back out there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta just stay away, bro. You kill somebody in Chicago and get out for the murder. Hey, if you come back to Chicago after you to kill somebody and get out and think you finna just be walking around and a motherfucker ain't gonna do nothing to you, you done failed yourself. I'm gone. I'm getting in the state com out of state compact. I'm going from the joint to the train to out of state. If it's like that, if it's that serious, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I ain't going to come back to Chicago and not just because I ain't got, oh, I ain't got nowhere to go, man. It's a shelter in every town, state, everywhere. It's a, it's a shelter. So, man, before I even ask you about the Lil J um, interview, so you mentioned in a previous interview that you knew the McGraws as a whole, but like your relationship with Lil J in particular, can you just take us back to how y'all actually connected or like, how did, how did you actually meet Lil J? I knew Lil J since he was younger. I, like I know his family. <clears throat> I know his family, a lot of his cousins, aunties and shit like that. So I, I knew him as a kid, just seeing him as, as a kid on the low end. And then when I, when, when, when I went to 63rd, I was on 63rd for a minute, and then Lil J and the mama now moved over there to St. Lawrence. Lil J now moved on St. Lawrence. Okay. Lil J stayed over there before a lot of them. They be saying shit, but Lil J stayed over there before a lot of them. Like, for real, a lot of them who be talking. That's why they can't tell me shit. Then they be like, oh, swipe, you playing both sides. Now I ain't playing both sides. I was over here before y'all. The fuck am I playing both sides for? And I'm older than y'all. Not been on both before the war started. After the war, I ain't got nothing to do with it. it ain't my war. You hear me? Like, so it, it, it yeah. What you said? So he, wait, you knew him before, like before and after. So you, you knew him as a kid, and you knew him after he, he glowed up with the music yep, too. Knew him you saw it all. I seen unfold. it all. I seen him go from a kid playing football to on St. Lawrence game banging to them telling Lil J. His music ain't gonna be shit to him the biggest. Him the biggest. Damn their big, damn their biggest. He he was he was bigger than Duck at one point. Duck was on fire. Duck was big. And then Lil J came and started rapping. And it was like they was tugging. 
they was tugging for it because it's like they really weren't fucking with each other. They really weren't fucking with each other. You know, when you got competition, bro, it's just ain't the same no more anyway. Fuck a friendship. He, this nigga think he bigger than us. And that's why Lil J get a lot of hate from that side because, you know, he, Lil J slimy, probably jumped some gates, took some weed or whatever. But they was hating on Lil J because of his music, because how fast he blew up. So anybody you hear young or any one of them say something about Lil J, they just saying it at, at, at um they just saying it about Lil J because Lil J took off. They told him he wasn't gonna be shit. They did he did. They did he told him, man, you might wanna be security or carry the laptop or something like you hear me? If a man tell you that, that now, I'm talking about Lil J left, went in the studio and blew up. Man, that motherfucker video was at 100 k bro. <laughs> I looked at that bitch, flicked it. It was probably about 25 k Flicked it again, that bitch was 50. Flicked it again. I'm talking about that's how fast the video ran up, bro. On my mama, bro. <laughs> he said you might want to be security over the left. Yeah, he told him that, bro. For a man to tell you that, that's motivation, though. You hear me? Oh, if you tell me, you if you right tell now. me, humble, you say, man, swipe, bro. YouTube ain't for you, bro. You only get motherfucking... Uh, 600 views, bro. All your videos, bro. Just go on here and get a job, bro. And, and maybe it'll work out for you or something. You hear me? Like, that, that's saying that. Study. I got 600. I'm going to try to get 1,000. I'm trying to get 2,000, 3,000. You ain't even give me that opportunity. You like, nah, yeah. bro. Just, you know, Lil J blew up, though, after that. Man, so <clears throat> prior to the music, you said, so he was, he was bagging. So... Like before the music, what was he like? Was he like full fledged off the porch at a young age, from what you can remember? For the music, Lil J, I can remember. Um, I can remember he in sports as younger. He was doing football and shit. He could have been cold at football. Mm. Lil J could have been cold at football, bro. And then he went from that to, like I said, St. Lawrence. It was just like when I seen every time I seen him, it's game bang and shit. Like it's always we finna go and watch down there or. We finna go and do this, like, every time I seen him in the hood. Yeah. But I know Lil' J more than I know any. Uh, Lil' J and Brig them and Duck them, like, I know them more than I know in Boss Trail. I'll be more than any one of them. Man, I want to ask you about him, too, but <clears throat> were you around when he got hit up? The, I think he said, like, four, he talked about that during the DJ U interview that he got shot multiple times, but it wasn't even from no, no. Uh, he said, no opera. Nothing. We said it wasn't from a BD, that's what he said. Yeah. He said it went from, yeah, you got it right. It went from his ops. Okay. It went from his ops, so that lets you know who hit it. If, if your ops didn't shoot you, who hit you? That's crazy. The motherfucker who was on your side, right? That's crazy. If your ops didn't do it, somebody inside do it. And that's what happened. He, he finally caught, caught on to it, you know? Because at first he probably was blaming the BDs for it. He probably caught on to it. When you sit back in that cell and shit start adding up, you hear me? That's how it was when I got shot. All I thought about was the person I was in the car with before I went in that pill house. Yeah. I was thinking about that shit. Why is this man stay telling me I'm tweaking, bro? Like uh, about this, this car following us. You hear me? On that thing, cuz when I went to the joint, I told you. Nigga, nigga had a picture with all them men that the people, you know, that that's from my nephew and them block. All the niggas who I had did, yeah, they was all in one picture with this nigga who I was in the car with. Damn. You know, but it took for me to sit down and to know that. Or I would have been thinking like, oh, these motherfuckers did it. You know? Man, why would he want to set you up, though? If that's like, as you thinking like, that's your homie, homie, though. Oh, man, you take, you, 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 you take something from a nigga, you take 50, 75K from a nigga, they coming, bro. Ain't no, you don't matter, ain't no apology for that shit. Hell no. Mm. Ain't no apology. Like, people done told me, bro, who I took shit from, bro, like, Big shit. Like, bro, you on YouTube to try to save the kids, bro, we even. You know That's what I'm talking about? That shit gonna be in my documentary. Them, them, um, them clips. I'm gonna make sure I run all them clips where the game members telling me good shit, bro. Like, all the real niggas in, from that, that you can say the real niggas if you wanna say real, mm -hmm. cause they game banging, quote unquote. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, keep pushing, bro. After the duck trial, keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Feed your family. Help the kids, bro. Tell them what you've been through, you know? Does that, that bother you? Like, you know, you said that'll be on the documentary, but a lot of people, <clears throat> if you read the comments, a lot of people in your interviews, definitely, I know the ones, I can just speak for the interviews I've done with you. A lot of the comments would be criti 
critical of like you taking the stand and all of that. But it'd be so many comments also like applauding you for speaking out and just the stance you have on the gun violence in Chicago and just you having the balls really to speak your mind about different things, man, where a lot of people are just kind of stay mute about it. If you getting a lot of feedback off camera from people saluting you, but they really hesitant to stand next to you because of the, you know, controversy. Does that bother you personally? No. Nah. Or you understand it? No, nah, <clears throat> because, you know what I'm saying? Long as I know, like your stand, I ain't got to be around you. I ain't going to come and post up around you either. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point in life, I don't trust nobody. You know what I'm talking about? My family, my kids, and shit like that. Anybody that turn on you and kill you, bro. Like, for real. I could be riding with a motherfucker. And he can get a phone call, a text, and say, hey, you know, you know all your shit on the curve, man. He probably ain't got nothing else. But he see Trenches News got that fatty wop on him. You hear me? Now he texting. Hey, hey, bro, you want to hang out with me for a little bit? Man, got 20 on him. Man, got 15 on him. Your own home. You know what I'm talking about? Like, shit like you, you got to watch people. I'm telling you. That all come back though. It, it, it all come. It all back. come. Whatever you put in the universe, it come back. Yeah. If you sure. study walking around this bitch time that you kill some somebody gonna kill you. On that thing, it just it, it just is what it is, bro. If you have somebody, they gonna help you. Or if you try hard, somebody will see that you trying and help you. Like let me help them because they trying hard. I be want to help a lot of people on YouTube. I be seeing a lot of channels like pushing. But bro, I, I, how many times do you get stabbed in your back, bro? And still be alive. You know what I'm talking about? I've been stabbed in my back so many times. Niggas who I fed they family. You know what I'm talking about? I fed, I, I made sure, kept, kept, probably kept your girl off your ass. You hear me? Because of me and my shit. Not worried about that I'm taking from my kids. Because I never give out nothing that, that is going to hurt them. I never give out nothing that's going to hurt my family. You know what I'm saying? Like if I give out something, it's extra. You know, and I don't look for it back. You ain't got to send me nothing back. You know, that's how I am. You ain't got to send me nothing back. You know, that's the avoid to even get into it with somebody who you really love. Mm. You tell them they can keep that shit. When, when I send somebody something, I say, bro, you don't owe me nothing. Because, you know, because I got times that by 50 in my bank account. So, you know, when I'm a trip back, why well, I'm going to lose my friendship with you for? And I got this shit. You know what I'm saying? I got this shit. I just learned how to master this shit. And I got the sauce. I learned how to master this shit, man. Uh, took another brief intermission, man. Before we left off, um, we was talking about a handful of things, but let's talk about the. Uh, I was asking you about Lil J. You say you knew Lil, you, you say you knew Lil J before a lot of the other people over there, but um, he recently did an interview with DJ U, and during that interview, <clears throat> obviously he talked about his case. He talked about the allegations, you know, about him, you know, messing with, you know, trans, you know, trans and all the extra stuff, but. A key part that went viral that stood out was his conversation with FBG Butter, where he pretty much opened up about the case with them together and what led to them both going away and ultimately kind of like parting ways because of the whole cooperation stuff and all of that. But you on the outside looking in, man, what did you think about that conversation? Because it got a little intense on one, on one at one point, you know what I'm saying? That conversation right there, I feel like it needed to happen for Butter. You know, I feel like it needed to happen. Somebody needed to tell him. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop it, bro. Like, stop it, bro. You did this shit. You hear me? Because he be on no jumpers. He be on blads. He be on that thing. And they ask about me. Yeah, I don't fuck with dude. He got on the stand. He got them sentenced. Like, what? Nigga, your ass sat in the same seat I sat in. You hear me? Like, what the fuck you mean? You hear me? But in his mind, he ain't do nothing. I just told on the dead. You ain't telling on no dead, man. This is a RICO case, bro. They got to prove that they are fucking ongoing criminal enterprise, man. And ongoing mean, oh, so they killed, they, so they killed OD, right? This is 2011, right? So then K.I. got killed three years later in 2014, right? By King Von. It's ongoing. That's what they need a butter for, the ongoing. So he ain't understand that shit. Because he be off them drugs and ain't no real niggas around. Like, bro, you took the stand, bro. Like, you did the same shit Swipe did. On that thing, bro. You hear me? But he talked about murders and robberies. They never asked me about that. They never asked me about nobody getting killed but Duck. About Duck murder. You know what I'm saying? 
And I wasn't there for Doug Murder, but I just saying I know the people, the players. But yeah, you know, I think that needs to happen because he under the impression that he ain't did shit to Lil J or none of that, bro. Like, call it what you want. He got the man mama locked up. He got the man mama locked up. That's some slimy shit. You know what I'm saying? Get your homie friend, your, your friend mama locked up. He denied that, though. He bro. did. It happened. His <clears throat> mama got locked up, bro. I know his mama. I know Lil J mama, bro. I know she went and did time for that shit. Like, if you ain't, like, people ain't from the streets or they ain't seen it, so they don't know. Yeah, I don't But the know. streets know. The streets definitely know Lil J mama been in jail. You know what I'm saying? Whether whoever put him in jail, you know, it was about your shit. So even if your OG did it, it was because of you. You know what I'm saying? Because it was about your shit. I just didn't like the way he say, me and my OG is two different people. It sounded like he was on some whole shit. Like, that's some straight whole shit. Me and my mama is one. Now, first of all, hey, look, we're going to leave my mama out of this player. You hear me? That's what I would have told him. Hey, look, don't even bring up my mama. This is about me and you. You know? Like, fuck my mama being this. He said, me and my mama is two different people. As if my mama did that, I ain't do it. You know? Like, nah, bro. He, 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 was, he was down, bro. You could tell he was, you could tell he met his match that day. He met his match and was shut down. You could tell who the leader, who been a leader with them all the time. You could tell who was the leader. He got to bringing up his jaw was broke. He ain't never tell us he was in PC until the Geechee told us. The Transformer told us that shit. Butter was up there too. You know, let him, ah, he the king of the world. But whole time, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, you know, so I just think that conversation needed to happen between him and Lil J. You know. And then he, you know, but all he good at putting shit off on other people. He said that the guy well, that was the witness on, on Lil J Mama was the guy who they shot. The Mook, Mook. The Mook dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, anybody who got a mind be like, bro, this man just said Mook did the one who they tried to kill. The one who killed their homie. Why would he be on your mama? He don't even know your mama. He only know Lil J from being out there with a homie. That's how he don't know none of the rest of them. He don't even know butter. He didn't even know butter. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro. And um, I think it needed to happen. But I remember one day, it was me and Mello and them daddy, FBG Young daddy. And we was over there on E-Town, J, whatever you call that shit, Goonie Gang, over that area. And this dude pulled up on us. He was like, and he, when he got out the car, he was like, yeah, man, what's up with that shit, Lil' Jake? Woo woo, my um uh, my, my son fighting for his life or some shit. You hear me? Like came up to us. Man, he straight. Hey, we ain't got nothing to do with that. Look, look Jay on his own. We don't even fuck with him. Ain't that right, Swipe? I looked over to the I turned my head that way, bro. You hear me? I ain't even wanna say nothing, bro. Cause I, I was throwing off. I ain't know nobody was, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't know this this dude, daddy. He just came up to us out of nowhere. Like, what's up with that shit with Lil' Jay? You know? Oh, the victim. The victim daddy, the victim manager daddy, whoever the fuck he said was his son. Some big ass black nigga. Damn. He pop out the car. Hey, yeah, what's up with Lil J now? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Like we, was on, we was on like E-Town. E-Town uh, over that way where Goonie Gang them be at. Man, you, you said at a certain point, once he started really pursuing music, that he parted ways with everybody anyway. You say he did a couple of slimy things, but it was like a competition between him and Duck that they really weren't rocking with each other. Like, what led to that whole fallout, though? Yeah, they, no, it wasn't really because of Duck now. See, everybody think that was because of Duck. And I was been trying to tell people that when they be asking Butter about me, like, Butter don't even know that I was, me and Duck now was living together. He don't know that. Boss Creed told you this on your platform. For sure. That I was, me and Duck was living with him. Well, he told you this, right? On your platform. Yeah, he did. So, sure. Butter going on all the platforms and be like, oh, man. Oh, Swipe ain't live with Duck. Who he live with? You hear me? Butter wasn't around, man. Butter and Lil J had took some guns from some real members from EBT. They took them in Ohio and ran off with them. They was in Ohio, though. The members. They banded them from the hood. Butter explained it. Butter explained it. Let me let me break it down just in case motherfucker try to argue with me. Butter explained this on DJU. Butter say, I'm the one who had to deal with Marley and them. I got to deal with them for the guns. Remember they was talking about it and Lil J was like, remember, go back to DJU and watch that shit. When they say Marley and Butter said, I'm the one who got to deal with it. Then the motherfuckers 
who kick them off the block from long distance. Hey, when you see dude now, they can't come over there on that thing. For real, they they robbed some they robbed some EBT members out of town. Well, not robbed them. They stole the guns and, and, and drove off and then went to Calumet City. And they wasn't in the hood no more. 13, 14, 15, Butter got locked up. Butter came back to the hood and got shot in his knee. Butter ain't never been in Creed Crib with us. Like the time 13 for all them songs, Butter went around. Running through a check, all that shit. Um, uh, I ain't trying to box right now. Butter, right yeah, now. they went around for that shit, bro. My young niggas, they gonna murder. Butter them went up. K.I. was there. Butter them went up. On everything, they they went up. All the studio sessions that we had, cash them. We are the champions, and um, I never seen it coming. Never do I be thumbing through all the goddamn hundreds. <laughs> he went there for that, bro. They they banned him from over there. That's what happened. And Butter said it on the TV. So I'm just clarifying it for y'all about the DJU. When you go back and you hear him say. I'm the one who got to deal with the with, with um Molly, the shit splacks, the real shit splacks. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, he talking about them. They ran off with the guns in Ohio. Four guns, yeah, in Ohio, bro. During the time that it was, the war was up. You hear me? So they been gone from the hood. They been gone. That was one of the reasons, though. Everybody keep on saying because of Duck and him and all that. Nah, bro. It was because of that, bro. Because Duck them be around these members, the EBT members. Ah, so it placed them in an interesting yeah, position. So yeah, so Duck them yeah, had a decision to make. Like, left. oh, yeah, they ain't yeah. with us. We ain't, they ain't with us. They took some guns and they ain't even come back around us, bro. Like, they yeah, that's guilty. what it was for, though. Could have been guilty by association, Yeah, man. yeah. yeah. And, and them dudes like that, though. Them dudes who who they like it. Like, they but a little kid to them. On my mama, bro. Like, he, they look kids to them. So who why, they took the guns from. Why even try that then? It don't yeah. make no sense. If you know that they are already going to be some of the people who are going to be here, and why even take And them niggas ain't forgivable. They ain't forgiving Butter them. They see Butter, they going to tear his ass off. They ain't forgiving them for that shit. Like, they ain't, they ain't the ones to forgive, bro. Like, you got Jaro City, you got Weston A and them, and you got these guys who ain't playing on their thing, bro. They older than Duck them. They was out there before. Duck them and all them, like with the wee wees, you know, who tell the judge, God damn it, if I, uh, after you get 38 years, I'll do it again if I, you let me out right now. You Them type of niggas. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's what we, we told the judge for real. Man, yeah. can, can, can you bring the viewers up to speed? So on that side of the fence, you know, so it's, 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 so it's Tukaville, it's Gyro, and it's EBT. Those are the three main. I guess sets on this in the same radius or the same. Yeah, them three sets in the same radius, but like EBT, the ones that weren't playing, like they weren't fucking around. Like they ain't no going back and forth with you. We finna come over here and play. We going at you. You hear me? Like they like that. Like Jaro, anybody could come over there. You know they get into it. You they you might get backdoored over there. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who fuck with who. You know. Cause everybody coming in and out. STL, like the younger kids of Everhard and shit like that. Gyro, they mainly older people, bro. Ain't no kids in Gyro. Like I ain't never seen nobody like Butter and them probably the youngest people who say they Gyro. You know, that's what Butter was, Gyro. When when I met him too. Now he FBG and all type of shit, but he was Gyro. That that's what he was. When I he was a stone when I met him. On that thing, he was a black stone. Matter of fact, he was a Blackstone. You saying he was a Blackstone from, from 62nd and Evans. That's where his ass was from. I've been BD since I, since, until I got out the game. You hear me? I ain't never claimed nothing else. Never wanted to be nothing else. I ain't even want to be BD. Only reason why I was saying I'm BD because I knew all my paperwork. And the board members didn't. So, yeah, I, I, I'm officially because I know all my paperwork. These niggas can't even read. So how the fuck they know they paperwork? The people who... The people who put this shit together, bro, illiterate, man. On some real shit, bro. That's why I say the blind leading the blind. The blind been leading the blind too long, man. And it's time for Trench the News to come through, bro. And, and, and tell them, fuck the rules. Break the rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no rules. Once you show everybody ain't no rules and all this shit, like, go against the game, all that shit, bro, it's going to eventually, you know, all them, they either going to go to jail, die off, you know, the way they want to go out and... It's gonna, the community's gonna get back better. Did, did you uh, open up about all of that when you was in in court? Like, did, did you 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 give them an insight on why you got down? When you said so, you said 
So it ain't like no jumping in like how you hear about in uh California, California stuff like that. Yeah, ain't no jumping in, bro. Mm. Ain't no getting jumped in or none of that shit, bro. Mm. On everything. I was just from an area, a BD area all my life. Mm -hmm. Since 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 I was a kid, you know what I'm talking about? I've been in this area. My whole family, the people who from over there can't even tell me shit because they ain't originally from over there. They originally from like the brain dead area, the Calumet building. Like people came from everywhere. When your parents moved out and they had to move to another project, that's what that's what happened. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. And you said, is is that a bad look, man? Like you said, Butter was a stone. Then he he became obviously. I know he. I'm, I'm from from what I'm familiar. Of, I'm familiar with uh, him saying like GD. Yeah. But, uh, big GDL, big old GD now. I be hearing him say Lord too now. I don't know if that's like trolling or is that something, but you know. Uh, he, he say anything, man. He <laughs> lying, nigga. Whatever he say. That nigga lying, man. But you say you Only one believe him is the bitch he's sleeping with, man. On everything, bro. Because don't nobody else believe him, man. Hey, shout out to Lil Mo too. I seen the interview with Lil Mo and FYBJ Main. And Lil Mo was like, he was like, man, what you think about Butter? And Lil Mo broke it down the perfectest way that you can explain about Butter, bro. He say, man, that nigga be lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know when a motherfucker lies so much that they start believing their own shit. And then he say, he say, he see, he talk just like Butter. He say, nigga be talking about some brother, 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 brother. Like, man, get your lying ass out of here. This Lil Mo. You hear me like, when, when he said that, I said, yeah, bro, everybody see it, bro. Oh, everybody see it, bro. <laughs> like, at this point, he just going on interviews, just making up shit, bro. Because mm. at first, I went, with, I went there, I didn't help him. Then I did, then I didn't again. You know, no jumping. That nigga went there. You hear me? Like. He, I just saw the Vlad, the most recent Vlad, when he said that you was lying. Yeah. About the K.I. day, too. Yeah. And he was like, that, uh, a hype helped him, and you didn't help him. You yeah, know what I'm saying that it didn't happen where he was like they they wasn't in no cut that they walked from the you know I don't know if you saw the video when yeah he, he lying he lying yeah and then if you look at Kyra Autopsy you would say you would tell ain't no way in the hell huh and butter sat there after being shot and had a whole damn twin I'm shot after what she got shot at just think about it bro like that nigga be lying bro anybody pay him bro. You just paying them, <laughs> your views going up, bro, at this point. You hear me? It ain't funny, but. Like, it, it's just real, though, bro. It's like, you know, he like one of them niggas you press to record. And then he just, on to go, on da 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 You know, it make everybody, hey, look, that's why I don't believe nobody. When uh, somebody get the merch and shit, I don't believe. Like, I could have been finna give you $100. And then you be like. On, 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 on JJ, I'm going to pay you back. Now, I don't even want to get, you know what I'm talking about? Because now you lying now. Now you just bullshit. You hear me? Hey, I saw a comment. They said, it was a dude. He's like, I'm from Chicago. And when somebody say, I ain't even going to lie to you. They about to lie. They about yeah. to lie to you. You know what I mean? I ain't even going to lie yeah. to you. They lying yeah, like, like a motherfucker, like, yeah. bro. <laughs> he said he going to burn. But no, man, this is what I want to ask you this too, though. I heard you say. I'm veering off a little bit. You 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 mentioned that uh, butter was a stone at first. I heard you say that your father was a stone. Yeah, my father was a stone. Are you comfortable with, like with touching on that? Cause you you, I mean you were, you know, uh, black disciple. You know what I'm saying. You know I grew up. Well, we grew up on 39th. When I say I'm from 39th, mm -hmm. that's the home of the fort, Jeff Fort now. For real. Yeah, the fort, the real fort is right there on 39th. It's history on 39th. It's a lot of history. There's a lot of stones down there back then, probably before my time, before I was born and shit. My big brother now was born. There was stones, stone neighborhoods. Damn. Yeah. So, and that's why you got his grandkids on 39th. His grandkids on 39th, on Lake Park, you know. But, yeah, that's the home of the fort. You know, all that shit history, man. My daddy was a stone, but, you know, he don't, he, he like he don't even he don't claim that shit or none of that no more. Like For sure. he he don't say nothing about no stones like he was when when I was a baby and he was younger hitting his chest and all that shit, bro. Like nah, bro. But like I ain't really like my daddy being no stone cuss. 
it was like, bro, this man took our Skittles, our Starburst. <laughs> like, we go, we go trick-or-treating, bro. And he come back talking about some, man, this got yellow five in it, yellow six in it. No, man. Hey, mama, we just seen him that last night kissing a motherfucker in the hallway. Uh, he come he got to get the that. fuck out. At least our candy gone. Yeah. On my mama, bro. He got to at least get out to our candy gone. Yeah, that's <laughs> No, nah, I did. <laughs> I don't think I heard you uh, talk about that before in the interview. But yeah, I didn't know your dad was, uh, well, he used to be in the game, though. No. Yeah, Drew Mine, all of it. Love, true, peace, freedom, justice. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, I know all that shit, bro. Like, since a kid, bro, my father used to steal that shit in us. Yeah. But I still take it in. Even though it ain't my literature or it ain't no, I ain't in no game. You know, love, true, peace, freedom, and justice. It, it's you should use that in life. On everything. Yeah, Just like proper right, preparation right. prevents poor performance. Right. You use that shit in life. It ain't about you being in the gang. It's about you using that shit in life, bro. For life. You hear me? Niggas don't know that, though. Niggas be stuck on That's all shit. That's all that. But who using it? Who mm -hmm. applying it? Who applying them rules that they say, I'm, I'm a big old GD. Who applying it? Who applying it to the rules? You hear me? Yeah. It's all for nothing, man. That's why I'm chasing that sack, man. Yeah. I'm chasing that fucking bag, man, because I, I understand it now. I get it. I get it. I get it now. Once you get it, you a thriving life. I get it. No, for sure. I for get sure. it, man. Uh, you only got one life, too. You only got one life. After this, hey, after this, is over with. You hear me? After this shit, is over with. From what we know. From what we know. I'm pretty sure ain't no walking on the other side like, oh, yeah, once we die... We going somewhere else, like, oh, yeah. What's up, y'all? This is where y'all been at? Or, or you think some niggas waiting around like the bullpen? Damn, one of who finna come up here today? That's crazy. Oh, uh, what's up, little Jeff? My nigga, man, you was down there drilling. We seen you from long distance, gang. <laughs> Just like, come on, man. Like, come on, man, like that. It'd be fucked up if it was like that, though. That, that shit is really, scary. That is scary. You go from here, you go from... You go, you go from this to, to, what up, gang? Wow. Where you been at? Nigga got the same gunshot holes in his head, wherever they got hit that and everything, bro. You know, like, that'd be scary, though. But that's, that, that's some other shit. But yeah, though, man. Damn, the way you just even just illustrated that, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Man, um, man, speaking of that, I heard you say three of your friends got hit at a funeral. Yeah. Two, two of them got killed. At a funeral home. At a funeral home. During it's, during the sir, what, what's the is this was this during like the whole ho, hobo hobo? Yeah, this was during the hobo war. This two thousand seven, September. September third. I never forget it. Yeah, it was in September. And um, they had went to a funeral, man. They had went to the funeral. It wasn't our funeral. It was, they knew it was the hobos. A girl who. The girls from the low end. The girl was one of they girls they used to date. You know what I'm saying? They used to fuck with. And she ended up getting electrocuted. Her and her son. Her and her daughter or son got electrocuted out of town. They got electrocuted on the bus stop. For real. This is no bullshit. They got electrocuted, bro. And it was her funeral on 79th. AR Leaks. Around Le Jeff now area. The Drill City area. That on Cottage Grove. And um, yeah, we was in tour with the hobos, man. Bolegs got hit July. Um, yeah, September shit, they got caught. They got caught at the funeral. Somebody's supposed to have made a call on them at, in the funeral home, which they ain't supposed to have been at no way. They was waiting in the Range Rover, and my folks pull up with um, handheld, handheld M4s and struck them down, bro. Hey, look, on my mama, bro, no bullshit. They was like this, bro. The Range Rover, this the cop. This how, this how Bean was. Like Levine was like this with the t with the cigar burning his head Man. in the front driver's side. Slapo was like this with a bullet in his ear with his, with, with his eyes open. He was like this, stuck on that thing, bro. Another nigga was on the side of the post office. He slid out the car. He got fucked up too in the car, but he slid out the Range Rover out the door and, and, and skied himself to the wall. You know what I'm saying? One of my, one of, one of the other guys who was up in there, he from TZ Block, he jumped out. He jumped out. He seen the hit and he jumped out. 
You know what I'm saying? Before it, before they even got to shoot. And I don't know. But, but that, that, that's in the federal paperwork, too. That's what I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's all documented. It's all documented. The whole war. Uh, at a funeral. At a funeral, bro. It, it was on, bro. It was on, bro. And that's what that's why I'm glad I'm out the streets too, man. I, I got a chance to see what like some real deadly shit was like. You know, you hear me? Yeah. Like when niggas waiting outside people bushes and you know, they got law enforcement working with them. You know? And they had law enforcement working with them. They had Watts, they had Mohammed, the Russians, they had all of them, all the police, they had sergeants with them. On their payroll. Yeah. So if they get into it with me, they found out where I was. The police came and knocked on my door. Told me I got to get some shit back that I robbed the motherfucker from. Because that was the hobo shit. On that thing, bro. Like, that's why I went to the feds on him. On some real shit. Watch. They kept on stopping me, bro. Everybody I robbed, bro. It was something kin to them. Somebody some got something to do with them. You in the fan with our business. They paying us or some shit like that, bro. On that thing. Watts was a gangster, bro. He was working with these niggas. He was getting a drops up on niggas. On my mom, he getting cribs up. Oh, hey man, this nigga working with the police. He telling niggas, man, they getting you out the way. 2006, it was this cop on the low end, you know, named Watts, and he was extorting people, shaking people down. A dirty cop. Dirty cop. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he he fucked with the wrong person, bro. Like I I like I ain't like my peers or none of that. I was I was thinking, and I didn't watch this man ride down on the project buildings, the drug dealers paying him. The worst thing to do is to pay a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Once you pay him, he coming. He coming back once it's gone. And they was paying him on the low end. Certain motherfucker blocks was paying him. So he was riding around and shit. So now, after he took some money from me, you know, I let that shit go. But I was still complaining about it, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker just took my money. So then, I had robbed the motherfucker for some pounds and some guns. He ride down on me on some training day shit. I need that shit back by tomorrow or, you know, I'm putting this on you. You hear me? So now I'm running from him, all type of shit, like running from him, hiding from him, moving, you know. Hey, see if you see a police cop before I can run to another car and get in the trunk and ride, ride off. You know what I'm saying? Just so I won't get arrested. So then I'll try to go to 51st and tell them, like, man, look, this dude. But when I went in there, the dude who I was telling me, like, Man, you might as well go on head on, bro. Just suck that shit up, man, cause you know what I'm saying? The he 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 the he the governor of the low end. That's it. That's what they was calling him, like the governor, bro. And shit, I went to the feds, bro. I went to the motherfucking feds, bro. And straight up, bro. And he was already investigated. He was giving drug dealers the drops. Um he told he he told he was working with the hobos, giving them information, telling them who working with law enforcement and everything. About about the murder, about the hobo thing, a motherfucker got it all wrong, bro. You know, I so say you saw. I yeah, never, yeah. I never told on the hobos, bro. I admitted in open court that I had did it to the hobos, that I shot them on everything, bro. I never told them about no hobos, bro. I'm not in their paperwork or none of that. I did the shooting on everything. They asked me about the hobo leader, and they asked me about the hobo leader, and. What what happened that day? I told them that I seen them coming out of our building. We was into it. They told us that we was into it with them. And I chased his ass down and, and fired him up. You closed the case now. So I closed the case on that thing. So nobody else would get into it. They in trouble for it or none of that. I did it. I chased them down on that thing. On my mama, bro. Man, you, you talked about like the 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 hit you was on, but did they ever actually come at you per like personally? What? Like the hobos after everything popped off. No, they didn't know I did it. The, oh. the fans know I did. The fans recorded it. That's how they. That's how they know I did it, bro. That's how they know I did it. They recorded the whole hit, bro. They recorded everything. They was out there sitting there watching them. When he went and this girl, they was on detail on his detail. On their thing, bro. When they popped up, bro, it wasn't no regular cars, bro. On my mama, Corvettes, Range Rovers, and all that type of shit, bro, when they came and hit our block. Why is he was in the hallway, laid out, stretched out? On my mama, bro. Only regular car was out there was the ambulance. Everything else was federal on everything, bro, when they popped up. After, after, after he got hit up, they, they popped up. They was watching him, recorded. Did, was, this, this at, uh, was this nighttime or during the No, this broad day. 
This this bright day, we had them. It was hot as hell outside. And y'all just was waiting on them. You got to drop on them and then. Got to drop on them, bro. Motherfuckers say you see them for, you know, with that fatty walk. Motherfuckers say them ain't get, yeah, you know. It just is what it is, man. You know. Hey, you got that, 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 say hello. But, but he, he survived, though. He survived, <laughs> yeah. He survived. He in the feds. He got like 45 years in the feds. Yeah. For, for other shit, though. Not for not because of trenches news for or sure, none of sure, that. So sure. I ain't in that paperwork or none of that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Can I ask you about the, the dude? I saw you do a video on him in the past. That's one of them. But I thought you actually was, I don't, I don't want to say cool, but were familiar with him or cordial with him, a, a dude named Polaroski. Yeah, was po. he was he officially was he one of the hobos or he was just po them like like when I tell you bro like we was going against some veterans we was going against some veterans bro it was like some high school kids going against some veterans on that thing bro like far as me and my group of friends because it was like like I robbed people and shit but I went into the other shit you hear me like. <laughs> And into that, like I went into the other shit. I robbed people. I could scare the shit out you with a gun and all that shit. But I went just chasing the nigga down, like, you know what I'm talking about. And that was that was that was the one. That was my first rush. Like this shit easy. You know what I'm talking about. But I had to contain myself. Though I had to go out of town and, you know, get back. Cause I ain't want that feeling. Cause I got homies now who, who like they they belting out all the time. They love they that's that's what they do. That's their hobby to bail out. Let me chase them. They be in the back seat. I got them. You, I got them. You hear me like that? I, I ain't into that shit, bro. I love people to live. Like, I got friends who don't love people to live. You know, some of them. Some of them got years and never coming home and all that shit. Like, for real. I ain't got a lot of dead friends, though. My real friends, I ain't got a lot of dead friends. Was it because they knew how to protect themselves or they just went into that lifestyle? Or? Nah, a lot of them still alive my age. Don't know. I'm asking you, is it because? Um, I guess the internet saved them. Not having no internet. <laughs> I guess. That's what saved them. Not having the internet, bro. Not having the internet saved deadly, them. Because if they sure. had the internet, had they people screaming shit out and, oh, he did that. This my, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't even got to say you did shit no more. Motherfucker, you wake up in the morning, humble soul, got a body. He killed five people in my lobby. You hear me? You wake up like that. Yeah, mini documentary. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it be though. You hear me? You ain't even got to brag about it no more. Nigga gonna tell your work. Well, it may not even be accurate though. <laughs> yup. That's the crazy part about it. But that's that's a blessing though. You don't got a lot of actual like friend friends that you yeah, lost. Yeah, I ain't got a lot like, of friends that's like dead though. Friends. I don't. Yeah, that's I a don't, blessing. bro. And that's a blessing, bro. Mm -hmm. Like for real. Like everybody I went to school with. Alive, a lot of them, unless they went from like cancer or a car accident, yeah, or some shit like that. Life, life, of yeah, this. bro, Nothing tragic. Like yeah, I ain't got man. too many tragics, bro. Man, let me let me ask you this, dog. Like for somebody who was BD at one point in time, and if you did have like a dead homie, you know how to in the rapping, like especially like during that early drill phase. Now too, like the dissing the dead, like. Like I saw an interview on DJU when FBG Young was on there, and uh, I think DJU was really—I don't want to say trolling. I feel like he was really like telling them, you know, when he was, he shared the whole Tuka Tuka story, like he had said he was smoking on Tuka, blah blah blah. That's one of FBG Young's, you know, dead friends. Like if somebody, if you was in a scenario like that, if you still considered yourself to be a gang member, just in general, I guess. You know how how would you have responded in a in, in that type of <coughs> that type of incident? Hey, I'm gonna be real with you. <coughs> I would have asked DJ you one time, bro. Like, not even saying Tuka. If it was like we was talking about my brother or one of my friends, and he said it once, and I told him like, "Hey, bro, don't say that no more." And then he said it again. I would have walked out of there. I would have just cut the interview. I wouldn't have asked, oh, you want me to cut this off or none of that. I would have just cut it off, bro. Like, that's disrespectful as hell. You know? But I know DJ U ain't go from it. You know, he ain't trying to be disrespectful. He just know how to get his rules up. You know? He know how to, he know what bunch to punch for them views to go up. This gonna be talked about 
for years on the internet. Let me do this. He's smart. DJ, you smart as hell, bro. He's smart, bro. Like, he ain't no dummy, bro. Like, it might be a, a like, why would he say that? Da -da -da -da. You know, and then Young said it. Young said that he told Jay Main, man, I would have smacked the shit out of old girl or something like that. You should have smacked the old girl for saying that shit. You hear me? But then when the time arrives and DJ, you do it, you ain't doing nothing. So I'm going to ask you not to say shit else about me on everything. You or a butter. Like y'all. Like, like Lil Reese's. Yeah, him and Butter, I don't want them saying nothing else about me, man. He folded for you and Butter. Lil J was on the phone in jail. Like, it's nothing he could do to you. <laughs> that nigga ain't get tough or nothing, bro. You hear me? He get tough as hell on there. Fly ass him. Hey, yeah, so trench your news and da da da. Yeah, he a motherfucking bitch. Da, 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 da. You hear me? But when Lil J say, man, shut up. Okay, Lil J. Take off your hat. Okay, Lil J. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, Lil J, I was just on. Um, I got my jaw broke because of you. I lost my limb because of you. I took off for you. I stood on business for you, bro. I love you. You know what I'm talking about? That was some cruel running shit that was going on on the yeah, phone. Yeah, you fool, man. I thought Butter was going to pull the egg out of his drawers and kiss that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, man, on a serious note, can I ask you this? I know you said on. You, you, with Young in particular, you you called him Mellow. <clears throat> yeah. I guess that's his real name his or, or nickname or something. Yeah, nickname, uh, Mellow. Man, Short for his real name. How did you initially like develop a relationship with him prior to like the controversy or the back and forth online? Like like genuinely speaking, like how did you connect with uh I, I didn't connect with them. I was with they they daddy. I oh, connected Manny, with oh, Manny, oh, yeah. Okay. I connected with Manny. I had the radio connections. I had them type of connections in, on, on the wheels already that was rolling before I even knew them. You know what I'm saying? I really was helping out Duck. I really told Duck I was helping him out. Sure. But Duck came and brought these other niggas with him. You hear me? Like, for real, I ain't going to need a lot to you. I'm dead serious, bro. Duck brought these niggas with him. And they walked up on the porch, bro. Duck was by himself, supposed to come up. My people got a porch that's over there. And um, they, they got a house that they stayed in. All the BDs, everybody know this shit. All the BDs was over there. You hear me? One, no shots being fired on that block, bro. By no ox. You ain't got to worry about no ox being fired on there. Because it, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Like, they knew already. Lil Reese, Dirk, them, all them knew. Now, nah, don't play with this block over here. Right here. You know what I'm talking about? Because the guys on this motherfucker. So everybody from over there got to the, want to hang on roads now. You hear me? Everybody from over there wanted to hang on roads now. Because they noticed that, oh, they ain't getting shot at over here, you know? Because you stand on St. Lawrence, you're going to get shot. You stand on Everhart, you stand on Gyro Vernon, you're going to get shot. But they ain't going to come over there because dude and them over there, you know? So that's how I met Young, and I got a relationship with his father. And, um, yeah, me and his father just started hanging out every day. Like, he'll come and get me from Creed Crib. We'll ride out, go and eat, go and eat with DJ Nafis. Go to Five Guys, go go and get over Ferris now. You know what I'm talking about? All type of shit. Like, I wouldn't be with Young now. I wouldn't be with them. I ain't hang around them. I hung with their daddy, bro. See, sure. people, people be getting a lot of shit misconstrued because I know them. I know a lot of them because I know their parents and I've been on them since they was kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, oh, you hanging with them? No, I ain't hanging with them, bro. Is you crazy? But Big Dale try to make it seem like that. He put a narrative through a narrative wrench out there. To the public, oh, he hanging with kids. Him and the little, the the um little pedophile lady who be on TV. Uh, I mean, be on YouTube. Um, I always talking with the fraud voice. They try to throw a, a tech in the game. You hear me? He be with kids and all. No, I don't be with kids. It's different levels. They ain't from the trenches though. When you from the trenches, you understand. It could be all us out on this block. Humble Soul Crew probably across the street. Them the big guys. You hear me? My guys probably be over here. This the tiny clan. And then they probably be down the street. That's the mini clan. You know, but everybody look up to y'all. To the humble soul crew. You hear me? But all of us up under you. So it ain't that you hanging with us. You know us. We from the block. This one sure you from the neighborhood. You know, like like that. But yeah, I got it. They, they ain't never disrespect me when I was with them, bro. 
Like, they play with me on the internet, bro. Like, they ain't never disrespect me when I was around them. Young or none of them, bro. I would have beat his ass. I would have put belt to ass, for real, bro. I would have whipped his ass. So I know he wouldn't play with me. But they could play with me on the internet. All that shit that they be talking, bro, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have said none of that, bro. And I damn near lost my life for them. A couple times. I damn near lost my life walking Dutchie home. Oh, yeah, bro. By the BDs. <clears throat> and I call these niggas. I put them on my live. On some real shit, bro. I put the BDs who, because I know them. I know the motherfuckers who, it ain't like I don't know the motherfuckers who I was getting into it with. But I was getting into it with them to stand on them. For them. These my little brothers, bro. Y'all ain't about to do nothing to them. You hear me? Like, for real. They was BD stand. They was, they was GD, BDK stand in a BD neighborhood, bro. You know how many times I got into a brain dead for these niggas? Some real shit. Got to call my big brother. My big brother got to call brain dead like that shit dead. On everything, bro. That's my little brother now. My big brother lying like a motherfucker. He don't even know you right now. <laughs> On everything, bro. He just using his authority just to, you know, make shit even a level field. These my, I'm his little brother, though. You hear me? But yeah, bro, we had problems. Everywhere they lived, there was BDs. But then they called me a store runner. You know why? Because they can't go to the store. It do it make sense? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Because you a BD in it. I'm a BD, so yeah. I could go outside. They can't. They stand on 81st and Maryland, bro. Anybody will tell you, bro, it's all BDs. It's Corway buildings, first of all. So when you leave out that Corway building, dangerous. it's all the deal. They might be downstairs waiting on you. You hear me? Like, it's dangerous, bro. And I, and, 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 and I argue with these guys and all that shit, bro. Walk they dog because they couldn't walk it. On my mom, I had to take they dog outside to walk they shit when I come over there. Damn. On some real shit, bro. I'm dead serious. Like, and that was out of the love. I'm with y'all. I'm trying to get y'all on the radio, trying to blow y'all up to the inner scope. Because I'm trying to get 20%, really. <laughs> I'm trying to get that 20%, they but they attention. ain't thinking. Yeah. They don't know what, what's my motive of doing this shit. I'm, hey, look, I just seen Chief Keep go to the table and get $6.5 million. I know Duck Hot. You hear me? I got the same connections that Dirk and the Keep got. I know Ferris. I know Nafis. I know all of them. You hear me? Why wouldn't I? Why not? Utilize you know, the resources. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm, that's all I was doing. I was trying to get my 20%, but it wouldn't work out. You know why? Because all they had selfish, and that's why they ain't making it. That's why they had never make it, bro. They selfish on their thing. They would have been made it if they would have been pushed duck to the top. Duck been the hottest. But no, nah, everybody wanted to rap. Everybody wanted to, oh, man, duck them, going on the, duck them going to New York without us, man. So we ain't messing with them. You know what I'm talking about? Sneak dissing each other and everything. That's why the other side made it. Because you know what? Even though they get into it, they have one goal. Let's put Sosa to the top. Even though they got into him after that, he was already up there. You hear me? Look, Dirk. All the way to the top. They pushed him. Even no matter what the beef was. We got one goal. Let's push him to the top. And they did it, bro. They side. Look at they side. They ain't, they ain't pushing nobody to the top. Duck died. I seen the motherfucker tell Duck, Mama, we brought Duck draws and everything. Duck was broke before he died. The nigga told his mama that. You hear me? So, you know, I, ain't, I, 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 just, I just think about them like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm glad they ass didn't get on the radio, um, nothing else, go further. You know what I'm talking about after me? I'm glad they ain't, you know? Because it's just bullshit, bro. Like, no matter what I did or go through, bro, if it ain't got nothing to do with you, shut the fuck up. If I always respected you and treat you with respect, do the same. Like, do the same. They don't never get on there and be like, y'all, he saved me, or he did this, or I ain't had no money for my kids. And I called up Trenches News, and Trenches News sunk that shit. You hear me? I ain't had no money for my kids. So, Trenches News, I, I called Trenches News and be like, hey, hey, bro, I ain't got no money, bro. You know what I'm talking about, Cavalry 300? Yeah. And I send the shit, though. You hear me? And I got receipts. Any nigga want to play like they want to play like they don't know what I'm talking about. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. Like, I do this shit, bro. I do this shit because off the strength, I ain't never had nothing. So I always treat people with respect, bro. But them niggas be disrespecting me, though. Only one I respect is Dutchie. That's the only one I respect out of whoever got FBG on their name. You always say that, too. Billionaire man. ain't no FBG. Billionaire always been billionaire. For sure. The FBG died when Doug died. Yeah. I don't even know why Butter or Young is debating about that shit. 
on everything. That shit dead. What you free band gang? The fuck? That's the only band. That's the only FBG that's popping. Goddamn it. <laughs> Let's get back to it, man. Let's go. So you was talking about um, despite them talking about the store run and stuff like that, you looked out for everybody. You said, but you really had respect for Dutchie for sure. Uh, yeah, Dutchie. But yeah, Dutchie now. Um, but yeah, yeah, Dutchie Duck. You know, Brick. But the only one when you say FBG, like we say Flyboy Gang, Dutchie the only one I respect, man. He the only one, man. No matter, like, how you feel about you or something, Dutchie will keep that shit to itself. You hear me? Like, he'll keep it to itself, bro. Like, I always been respectful to him. So he don't need to say nothing that bash me or none of that. I seen another interviewer that, that, I, that I told, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I need to be paid this money to go on your platform because I'm big. So instead of getting me, he get other people and ask them about me. So he told, told said that I, I, I jumped on Dutchie or supposed to whoop him or some shit. And I ain't say none of that. I said how me and Dutchie got cool. Me and him was about to get into a fight in front of Billy in that house. That's how we got cool. Doug broke it up. You know what I'm saying? That shit been so long. You know what I'm saying? I was just telling the story every time. Me and Dutchie, how we got cool. And the nigga tried to flip it. You see how dead the internet is? Oh, he said this. And he said, oh, yeah, I would have whooped his ass. At that, I would have whooped his ass. I'm confident in myself. And I hope that he confident too. But if we would have gotten to it, Doug wouldn't have gotten to it, I would have whipped his ass. That's all I was saying. Like, you know, not being funny. Like, I would have whooped him. You hear me? Because I respect that. So I'm like, yeah, I would have whooped him. You know, I would have whooped him if we would have gotten to it. Somebody asked me in the comments. So I was saying that. But dude had switched it all the way around. Mm -hmm. Trying to say like I said something bad. Nah, I ain't say nothing bad. Ain't nobody ever played with Dutch when I, when I was in the, over there in the hood. I ain't seen nobody put their hands on him. I ain't seen nobody touch him. You know, I, he always got respected. So, you know, why get on the internet and disrespect him now when you respecting him? I don't respect people like that. Like Butter, he never disrespected me in my face. Never called me an old goofy or none of that shit. You hear me? But now I'm on the internet. Oh, he old, he a goofy. Like, boy, I did way more shit than you that go in the history books, bro. You ain't did nothing but been a flunky. Claiming people shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. On some real shit. That's Butter. Claiming everybody shit. You ain't no shooter. You a fighter, bro. And, they, and when you fought Vaughn, y'all jumped on him, and, and, and everybody dead behind that shit. So, who ain't nobody wins. Nobody wins after that. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man, uh, the transition, man. Another person <clears throat> has been in the headlines recently. Your boy, uh, Kiddo, man. You know, before he went away, 051 Kiddo, you used to talk about him. You used to call him, you said, low, low dog. Low dog. <laughs> But he uh, he he put something on his um his uh, IG recently on the story. It seemed like it was like a subliminal message to uh, 051. I guess ain't people ain't looking out. I'm I'm on the outside looking in, but that's how I came across. But you caught wind of that. What you think about that situation, bro? Considering like after he did all that time with like ten years, got out, he was blazing for the music drill, you know. But a lot of dissing and all of that, bro. But you know he had a little. A little buzz going for sure. Then he get locked back up. Same thing with like Lil J, you know, before he went back away. But um, but yeah, he put some on his IG recently. But when he was out, you know, them different interviews, you see multiple young money members with him. He always shouting them out. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed like I don't know if he ain't getting that type of support since he's back incarcerated. But what's your thoughts on that, Doug? Um, Kiddo, I seen that post. Um, I think Kiddo just mad, man. I think Kiddo realized how far he was up. How he was on, he was he was up. Nigga came out of jail out of nowhere. Don't know about half of the people don't even know who Kiddo is. I definitely didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Came up hot on fire. Started rapping hot on fire. Even though they his music garbage. He wasn't rhyming or nothing. Wasn't rhyming, mm -hmm. beat off and everything, but it was still sound good. It was catchy, yeah. It was catchy. So for God to bless you with that and be able to pay your rent every month, because all you need is one interview. Well, that's all I need is one interview a month, and, and my bills pay for three, four months. You hear me? So, um, yeah, to get the opportunity and don't take advantage of it is crazy. But to go to jail and then get mad that your homies them, like, I ain't fucking with none of y'all. You know? Hey, look, I stopped even wanting to be in the game when a nigga told me. Out of sight, out of mind. You hear me? Out of sight, out of, if you ain't that, bro, you don't get it. 
That's, that's some real shit. If you ain't around, out of sight, out of mind, bro. You know? And he, kiddo feel like they wrong, but everybody ain't going to be your brother. <laughs> or everybody ain't going to be getting that Remy with you. You hear me? When you in jail. Kiddo got to understand that shit, man. That nigga did 10 years. And then came out and did the same old shit that got him locked up the first time, man. Well, not the not the same shit, but you know, like he gotta, he, you gotta be aware of it. You gotta be aware of yourself, man. I think he need to be sit down, cause the way he was going, he gon' he was he gonna be dead, bro. Cause all them niggas just doing is waiting to run into each other. They missing each other. That's how you know four six and 051 really ain't on on they blocks. You hear me? Cause they missing each other. Ain't no we ain't heard nothing, no shoot, and that's good. You hear me? That's a good thing. That they away from each other and all that shit. But kid old man, like, bro, he had an opportunity of a lifetime, bro. Opportunity of a lifetime. He let it, he he fucked it up. He was gonna be better than drilling them. You hear me? Like I ain't gonna lie. He was gonna be hey look, the man the hottest in old and uh, 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 young money since Melly. Melly Def is the biggest. Melly Def, Melly Def get more views than they all they raps. I'm just saying, bro. Kiddo came through and was the biggest since 051 Melly, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Because I done put Driller in my um, stacks. I done put all <laughs> their names in my title. <coughs> and ain't nobody paid me like Melly and Kiddo name. Ain't nobody's. I done put all the niggas from 051 in my title before. And that's who paying me. You hear me? So, Kiddo was the hottest, man. Kiddo, name and algorithm. To you kids out there, man. Hey, look, when you go to jail, man, always remember, you did it. Your mama, your daddy, your baby mama, ain't nobody entitled to send you shit because you did it. They didn't tell you to go out there and rob nobody. And if you did rob somebody and get away with the lick, which you would have brought it back and gave them some, hell no. They don't owe you shit. You hear me? They don't owe you nothing. You see this here? I, 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 I had to take it off. I had to, Jacob now came and repo me. But, um, it's, it's over there. Yeah. yeah, it's over there. You know, you got you to gotta just earn it, man. Like, you just got to you just gotta be aware of yourself, man, and aware of what's going on, man. It's fake shit out here. Like, a lot of fake love out here, bro. Like people is using people, bro, to get to the next level, the planet. I'm aware of it. So before I disrespect you or any, I'm just gonna back out of shit. You hear me? I just stay away from people. Cause I know if I go back to jail, last time I was there, I ain't had nobody. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna hang around somebody and I know I got a possibility I can go back to jail. And I ain't gonna have nobody then. Looking out for we it. All, yeah, you gotta wake up. We gotta wake up. Everybody gotta wake up, man. But I can tell y'all this to all the game members <laughs> it ain't nothing to send your homie a card and tell him that you still there. Money don't mean nothing when you're in jail. Just to know that a motherfucker ain't forgot about you. That's what hurts on that thing. That's just a little tip for all y'all, baby mamas and all. Just tap in and say a motherfucker happy birthday on this birthday or what? Merry Christmas. It's priceless, bro. No. Nigga be like, man, they still thinking about me. They ain't forget about me. They probably ain't got no money, but they ain't forget about me. But when you don't do none of that shit, and then when I get off the bus, you try to, ah, oh, you have to go up. We got to tell them block up. And niggas go right back to that shit. On that thing, I done heard too many people that I done been in jail with that's around. Dirk them and that thing that ain't had no TV. When I was in there with them. And Dirk was they homie. You hear me? And I done heard them. I done, I done heard them. I ain't never doing it. Getting, I ain't never getting fucked with them niggas no more. Nigga, get out. You see them right there with them. I done heard it. Yeah. I done heard it all before, man. So, you know, I just know what I'm going to do. I am just ain't going to hang with no niggas. Man, can you, um, <clears throat> man, speaking of, like, jail, you know, you did some time, um, in Cook County and in prison, right? Um, in Cook County in particular, like it's a lot of different videos that'll come out over the last couple of years, like different fights, uh, 
or after the fights, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. When you was locked up, was that still, was that like pretty, pretty prevalent in there? A lot of like different people getting into it or was everybody pretty smooth? Because I've also heard you talk about in your lives about <clears throat> different ops would be in the same, you know what I'm saying? On the same oh yeah, them together. niggas kicking it, man. Them niggas kicking it up in there. Every tag I've been on, bro, I done been on the deck with, with a nigga who killed his homie. He didn't kill his brother. He didn't kill his cousin. And niggas playing cards together, bro. These all these niggas, man. The little blind ass dude. Um, not to get off subject, the little blind ass dude. What's his name? Von. Alvin Simon. Theodore Von. Von 17 off of 1700. He timed out some. I ain't chilling with the ops on What the fuck you gonna do if you ain't got no gun on everything, bro? Like, what is you gonna do? You look like a Geechee on everything with glasses, blood. Like, what is you gonna do? Time about he ain't chilling. That, that's all that shit is just music, bro. Niggas be lying, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I done been on deck with real niggas on that bitch. And they up in that bitch kicking it on my mama. Like real killers just kicking Real it. killers. Not no real niggas, because they ain't real niggas. Because if they was going to do something, hey, look, if no other time to do something, if you can't catch a nigga out on the street or no other time to get revenge, it's when you in jail. That's, the, that, that's where you supposed to be getting revenge. Everybody got something to lose now. What type of shit is that? You hear me? It's backwards. <clears throat> That's backwards than a motherfucker. It's an excuse. Nigga, oh man, I'm trying to get up out of here, do my time so I can get back to the crib. You ain't gonna do nothing but kill them when you get out. You hear me? Be right back at them. Be right back at their neck, bro. Like, I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand it, bro. Like, for real. So that just what make me stay away from the gang shit, too. Just knowing that. Just knowing all this, what me and you talking about. You know, I, I got to be a damn fool to, you know, to even be claiming some shit, you know? So, yeah. Man, and saying that, what, what do you think about, were you surprised when you saw that footage come out with Rondo kicking it with, uh, what's the dude named Lil Mick, Lil, Lil Nick, Lil Mick? No, no, hell no. Who's allegedly- Hell uh, no, bro. He's Look, supposed to be one of the people who killed L.A. Capone. Man, he just <laughs> one of the ones who video came out. He just one of the ones, man. I'm telling you, man, I done had niggas come in Stateville like, man, I just left what's the name them. I just left Lil Drill in them. Man, I wish my I wish my homie was out right now, bro. He said he came on the deck, man, Driller was shook like a motherfucker, bro. On my mama, bro. He said he was shook. Say, say, um, I forgot who all was up there. Just blow them was up there. On my mama, he said just blow them was on, they was on Division 11. My homie from the low end. Niggas be shook, bro. Niggas don't be on that type of time. Bro, bro, though, walk in the bullpen. Where you from? He be looking for motherfuckers, you hear me? He on dumb shit. You got niggas like that, but uh, not them. Crayhead them. You got Crayhead from Folly. Um, Stone Crayhead, EBK Crayhead. Goddamn, he walking around looking for motherfuckers. You from 50 Strong? You know what I'm talking about? Shit like that. N ain't, ain't too many niggas like that, bro. Niggas be like, man, y'all really ain't did nothing to my homie now. Well, we really don't know if y'all killed them. So, you know, you good, bro, with me. And then they homie get on the deck. Then they try to jump on me. Like, you got shit like that, bro. Like, you just got to watch it, though. But as far as the videos, they they just, um... For you, um, freedom of information. Oh, okay, I got so you. they just for you in the <clears throat> videos and getting them. Like, ain't no guard selling them or none of that. You don't think so? You can just for it. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. just for you. Could you do that? Could you, you know, or have you ever been around somebody who killed like a close friend of yours in jail? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Without busting they shit or something? That's what Hell I'm asking nah. you, yeah. Hell no, nah, I ain't never been around no nigga that I knew that he killed my friend or something like that. Nah, I ain't never been around none of that. So I think uh, Rondo said it's like a time and place for everything. Nah, that's so. the time and place. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you got 40 years now. When are you going to ever catch him again? On everything. What's the time? Y'all both in the joint. Y'all going to end up in the same joint on the same yard in 20 more years. Yeah, when is gonna be the time? When you get out after you done doing you did life down there? Yeah. Forty years, that's life, man. Yeah. That's life. Whether you was there to see it, or that's life, bro. A court is life. 
And the only reason I'm asking you that, because you just mentioned a few minutes ago that you don't saw like real killers just kicking it with each other. They don't did dirt to yeah. each other's loved ones. Yeah, I was, I was on the deck. I was on the deck in Shawnee, Illinois, man. And it wasn't no scrabble. So a nigga could say whatever they want to say. You ain't scrabble with them. Hey, Lil Freaky was on my deck from 051. Lil 051 Freaky. This nigga had motherfucker. all, oh, I ain't know he had all them. I just seen the 300K on his arm. I ain't know he had L.A. Killer and all that shit, bro. He got big tats, like, all over his body. He little than a motherfucker. Motherfucker tell me, send me a kite like, hey, swipe. Hey, man, hey, 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 watch what's the name, man. Uh, dude talking about doing something to him. The whole time, the person who talking about doing something to him is my homie, who I knew before the drill scene and all that shit. So I went to him like, nah, bro, don't. Like, he ain't need no threat, bro. Like, for real, they left him alone. Not saying they don't want to fuck him up, but they left him alone. They left Freaky alone. I was on the deck. Freaky was on the deck. Brit Squad was on the deck. Lamron was on the deck. 4-6 was on the deck. EBT was on the deck. All these motherfuckers. Um... Um, M Block, motherfuckers from M Block was on my deck, motherfuckers from Hit Squad, Doom Squad, 63rd, and, and, um, like all them blocks was they them from, man, we was on the deck together, bro, it wasn't no fights, Damn. so if a nigga really had a problem, if a nigga really had a problem with something, a uh, real, when you say op, when you say op in my definition, that nigga can't even step on the deck with you, that nigga can't even be on the same deck as you, that's an op. Anything else is friendly fire. On that thing, bro, like for real. When niggas say op opposition, I'm thinking they talking about like on site. That's what op is to me. Not, oh man, we in jail, bro. We trying to get back out. Um, you know, we gonna handle that when we get back in the real. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Like, nah, that's some faggot shit. That's some weak shit. Like, I don't respect that. Um, and if you can if you can chill in jail with this nigga, you definitely could chill outside with him. Mm. You know. They got yeah. access to them guns on the outside, though. That's why I respect Memo 600, man. He is on, man. Keep doing you, Memo. Stay dry. Man, what's up with you? He, he another one, man. He recently <clears throat> opened up about the incident where he got shot, you know, because it was rumors of just video circulating, speculation online that he had got robbed and the whole, like, because of the no. I think he said something about Cap or something. Uh, 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 he said something about Cap and, um... But he cleared it up. He cleared it up, though. Said he wasn't talking about that particular... Cap. Cap. Yeah. He probably talking about his little homie Cap. He got a homie named Cap Toil. Mm. I don't know, so man. So he probably could have been talking about him. I don't know, but... Dude, you got I know he said that at the wrong time when Cairo and them was on that motherfucker with him. And Lil Bernie and all them was on that. Huh? You know, yeah. But yeah, I respect Memo, man. Memo came. I seen a side of him that I ain't never seen, bro. More My sure. daughter like Memo. Mm. That's why I be respecting it, because my daughter hear me say something. Like, she got pictures on her wall and memo and shit. So, if I say something about him bad, you know, that's just like your favorite <laughs> singer or rapper. You know, you don't want to down the kids. You know, so I, I try to be say respectful shit around her, because she like his music and everything, bro. Like, she is number one fan. The Mexican beat shit, like, that's her. Like, she she love that shit. So, I, I, I respect memo, man. And she love his girl, the Glizzy Glow. Like, she be telling me, like, they're a good couple. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, I just tell my daughter, though, you know, you got to watch this shit. You got to watch it. Because, hey, in life, you would think something look good, but really it's fucked up on that thing. You would think something real tight until something happened, a straw breaking. And then, you know, motherfuckers letting out secrets and shit like that, you know? So... I just tell my daughter that shit, just, just watch it. You can love them, but, you know, don't pick no sides between them because then you'll end up picking a side like, yeah, I'm fuck Memo, I'm going with the girl, you know, <laughs> no, like shit me. like that. But shout out Memo, man. He his own man. Memo got robbed, though, man. Memo got robbed. He he said it. At first, he was saying that he ain't um he ain't want to say it because he might not want to be on no police, police. shit. Yeah, yeah. But then you go on DJ, you want to say it anyway. Like it's over with. Ain't no statute of limitations till you get shot, nigga. <laughs> you hear me? That's an attempt murder. Yeah, above the waist, huh? Yeah, and a robbery. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, look, I don't know what these niggas be on or 
Ain't nobody ever robbed me. That's a robbery, nigga. If a nigga shot you and took your watch, that's a robbery. I don't give a fuck if he shot you and knocked the coins out your ass and your watch fell off. That's a robbery, nigga. On that thing, that's called an and one, nigga. He shot you in the elbow and your watch flew off. That's an and one, nigga. Mm -hmm. On that thing. So, yeah, but, you know, you just got to watch it out here, bro. I wouldn't get up with nobody. If I was a Chicago rapper or anybody, I ain't getting up with nobody. Do no working on my mama. Like I tell them to you, YouTube, I'm not working with nobody. You, my mom, you, Made Media Magazine, you know what I'm saying? The Queen Lotus and them, you know, my mom squad, I fuck with them. Mm. But as far as, like, anybody else working with, like Vlad or something like that, they got to come with them pesos, bro. They got, I mean, not pesos, because that's little. They got to come with them racks. You hear me? Like, for real. Other than that, I ain't, I don't want no smoke, man. I'm just here to eat. I'm just here to feed my family. And a lot of people be don't understand. They be like, oh, he just doing this for the money. Hey, look, you have to do this for the money. You have to make money first in order to help somebody else. Don't nobody want no broke-ass nigga telling him what no rich-ass nigga thinking. And you ain't got it. So don't shorties them don't want to hear that shit. Shorty them want to see that money young. They don't want to hear about what you can get in the next three years or two months. They want to know how you can get it in the you know what I'm talking about, and then showing how you can get it every day until you get this shit. Yeah, you you want to address that a little bit more? Swipe uh, elaborate on that. I've heard that a few times. Like that you a, a culture vulture that you you profiting off the deaths and stuff like that. Like are you really sincerely concerned about? Improving the community in Chicago and stopping the gun violence. What you want to say to that dog? Hey, hey, long as they hear my stories and, and hear they real, I'm telling them fuck a game member and all that shit. I mean that shit. On everything, go out to what pays, man. Motherfucker be talking about profiting off deaths and everything. Hey, look, if I don't do it, somebody else gonna do it. That ain't never been in our community. But they rather them do it though, you hear me? Like, life is fucked up, bro. You rather a motherfucker white in the trailer park get some money than me on that thing, bro. But you can call me and probably get some money from me, but you can't call them and get no money. You hear me? Like, that's crazy, bro. So I just stay on my grind, man. I just stay on my grind, stay focused, bro. Like I said, bro, I done built so much shit that if YouTube was to fall, that's when my business just kick in, you know? If I got a business over here doing 13K every 30 days, this motherfucker doing nine, this motherfucker doing eight, you know what I'm talking about? Like, add it up, bro. I'm add it up. I, I mean, you got to add it up. You got to make it make sense. You right? Man, I, I saw a video. I don't know how I stumbled across this video before we linked up today of you downtown Chicago with a like a like a bankroll, all hundreds. Just you was giving it up. Just passing it out, bro. I did that. Somebody had actually, somebody I actually was like, hey, swipe. Man, you should pass, you should give back to the community. And I was talking to Inglewood Barbie. I was talking to her too in her comments, in her inbox or something. And um, I was telling her, like, you a dope ass lady, man, like, for doing what you're doing and shit like that. And so I was, for, the, for the people who don't know yeah, who was that? Uh, Inglewood Barbie. She, um, she up. get people tents. She get people tents downtown, heated tents. Like they outside, but like, like outside you probably hear the, woo -woo, the wind and all that shit, but inside, bro, they heated. You know what I'm saying? Like she do her do. She That's feed what's up. them That's what's up. and all that, bro. And uh, she get them in hotels and all that. So once I seen her doing it, I'm like, man, I, I can help out a little bit too. You know, I get this shit. If I get $20,000, $19,000 off YouTube, I can pass out $3,000. You know what I'm saying? Without my family being hurt, I can pass that shit out. Just think about it. I just made $20,000. I can pass out. You telling me I can't pass out $3,000 without even thinking about it and be hurt? And when I just ain't had shit yesterday? Like, yeah, I can pass out that. On some real shit. Now, now I catch people in line at the stores. Me and Nene. We do it every once in a while, man. Pay for all that shit, whatever in the car. That's one. Watch them, watch them, watch them do do all that shit. We looking for struggling people though. We ain't looking for no Martha Stewart up in there already eating. We looking for motherfuckers who we got to put that back. You ain't got to put nothing back, baby. Pay for all this shit on everything. Cause I remember when my mama went in the store, had the 
Well, let me get the apple and the orange. Like, that shit hurt, man. That shit hurt. That shit hurt to even have to decide what food that you want. So I come behind them and, you know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, my God. I see somebody putting three on their gas, huh? He go, put 40 on that motherfucker. You hear me? Like, for real, I, I size up their car. Look like 40, 87 going to be four on that thing. You know, I can eyeball shit. I use 93. <laughs> I use 93, man, so I'm putting a little bit more money. But he ran luxury. $40, you man. got a little car, $40, 87, your shit full. For sure, for sure. <laughs> you got to eyeball shit. Man, uh, I had... Um... <laughs> I had asked you about uh, Rondo, but um, is 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 what they call a rappy C day. He came out recently and put some. Once again, it's kind of similar to the 051 Kiddo situation, but he actually put a name on it. He, he added uh, the dude Booker 600, pretty much saying that I'm gonna have to take it to the internet, although I didn't want to. But it seems like this the only way I can get in contact with you. You know, I've been reaching out for years with no, you know. No communication, so I'm gonna take it to IG. But basically, trying to get D Rose a lawyer, or whatever the case may be. But um, what you what you uh, think about that situation, bro? Do you feel like it's wrong for dude to not be communicating with him? I don't know that the backstory if they fell out or if he's already been helping them out. But you you know being more familiar with the Chicago culture, bro, and, and doing time. Like, what's your thoughts on that, bro? With C Day speaking out of I ain't that. gonna lie, man. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Just seeing what they did and knowing them, like knowing of them and watching them, the dumb and dumb need to be in jail. Him and Rondo on their thing, bro. They was out here doing shit until they got caught. Now they caught and they don't want, they want out. You hear me? They killed the cab driver, bro. A motherfucker from the low end, bro. He ain't no cab driver, bro. I'm going to stop saying that. He, a, he was a livery driver. A livery driver is a hood nigga or a hood person that do Ubers and shit. Like, like sure. you let people smoke in your car. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm talking about? Girl, they can get top in your car. You don't give a fuck as long as they pay you extra money. You're going to take them wherever you want to. Sure. Like, you can call Boyd and be like, man, I, I, I got to be in Champagne. He might say 500. I'll take you to Champagne. 300. Two, 300. He'll take you to Champagne. He'll take you, drive you all the way out there. It's like a hood cab. Sure. And so they killed him, man. I ain't got no sympathy for him or us tonight. And then I told y'all, feel when he tried to do me. I already told you that situation. Oh, for the for the viewers tuning in who may not have heard the story, what are you referring to? Oh, um, I, I was walking Duck back home. I was walking Duck back to his block off the Green Line. Duck was getting off 63rd train station on King Drive. And before Duck got off the state, I was talking to L.A. now. I was talking to L.A. And L.A. and C. Day was together. And, um... They walked up to me, and, and, and L.A., he was happy to see me. He ain't seen me in a minute. So he was like, man, this swipe. Ooh, he takes shit. Da, da, da. You know, he telling him. You know, everybody don't know. People be thinking like, oh, these older niggas. No, we was in the street before you. You know what I'm talking about? We just calm. You just call me. I'm, I'm always been calm. I ain't never been a person to brag about. I did that. I did that. I probably did everything under the sun. You know, even fuck the Ninja Turtles up down there. You know, but I never tell you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys, I be laughing at, bro. I be laughing at, really. You know, you ain't, you ain't got to brag on it. But, um. He said he was happy to see you, though. Yeah, he was happy to see me, man. And and he told C. Day all this good shit about me. And I'm from where his mama from, his grandma and them from. I'm from Newtown. That's what he told them. You know, this my homie. You know, my uncle and them look up to him. Everybody look up to him. You know? So I'm thinking I'm good. I'm thinking I'm good, man. JB been letting them run through the light. Stop. Little bloodhound JB been letting. They he a bloodhound now. He say bloodhound. So he he come through the light. He a LA. We finna go to the studio. So LA shake up with uh, Rondo. I mean C Day and jump in the car. C Day walking off. C Day walk off back towards the O. You hear me? I'm still right there. I roll. I smoke my weed now. Duck coming down the stairs. You know, Duck come down the stairs every day at the same time, about 12, 1. He coming off that green line, you know. So he came down the stairs. See, they was standing back watching. He was standing back watching or something. I don't know where he was from, but I know after I walked Duck down the roads, I ain't walked Duck to St. Lawrence. I walked in the roads. Duck had a book bag on his back. Mm. 
And um, I remember I'm, I walked back to 63rd, man, and I'm standing on 63rd. And I'm standing in between Rock Charles and fucking Kevin's Beauty Supply. It's a gap in between that. If you ride past 63rd, it's, it's still right there, the gap. That always been right there. And all I knew of it was like, when I get paid, my checks be looking like phone numbers. Time. You remember that Wiz Khalifa? Yeah, Wiz Khalifa, yeah. I get the one that do the do for my other hoe. On that thing, something talk, I was rocking my head. Turned around, this nigga. Just bah! On that thing. Me, me. Like Flash Gordon, bro. Ask Creed. Creed to tell you how I hit around that motherfucking, how I hit around that ever hardcore. And they shooting at me. On my mama, bro. A hype guy hitting the some old shit. Oh, he hit somebody. He had a hype. He had a hype on that thing by the Pepsi truck. He hit the Pepsi truck and a hype. It was a big ass long 18 with a Pepsi truck right there. I was like Sonic. On that thing, bro. But that shit was scary, though. That shit was scary. He tried to kill me for nothing. Like, for no reason, bro. Like, for real. After L.A. Capone had just bounced After he told him this, man. After, after he told this nigga this shit, bro. On my mama. That's why I say he retired. And his ass was crossed the whole time. He telling him. The nigga telling him, man, this is my home from Newtown, bro. My uncle them, my grandma and them love him. His ass was like this. This ass was over there. This ass was over there. He looking at him. <laughs> On everything, bro. That's how his ass was. I can't twist my ass, but yeah. his shit was twisted. <laughs> I try to twist him by doing this. Trying to make a... Hey, you a fool. Yeah, man. bro. The nigga still shot at me, so I ain't got no sympathy for him. But... <laughs> Buka, Buka funny as hell though, cause Buka say, I don't owe y'all shit. He say, he say, what about the times that I did give you? Nah, I ain't got shit for you. Now you done burnt your bridge now. Damn. You hear me? What about the times I did give you? See in jail, a nigga on they time. You hear me? On they time. Nah, it ain't no your time. It's real life out here. They it's ain't real think life. about your What people. about my bills? They got responsibilities out oh, here, too. Thing. What about my bills? Not justifying, not looking out at all, but you can't just expect for people to move when you think they should move. Like, all my shit with my businesses and shit, like, as far as, like, the lights and all that, like, 8K a month. Like, it might sound good. It might sound good of we making 13 here, 12 here, 20 here. I love that. 20 there. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. look. So, you know what I'm talking about? But it's still AK. Lights, gas. You know what I'm talking about in the businesses and shit. You know, yeah, shit yeah. like that. You still got to, you still got bills, but you got more coming in. You got an overhead. Yeah, though. you got, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I learned to pay bills now. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like a man now. I feel like a man now, bro. Like, for real. I know what it feel like to be a man, to pay bills and take care of the house and, Make sure everybody's straight. Like I walk in the kids' room over there, though, you good? What's wrong? I wanna go in there. Uh huh. Go on ahead. On that thing, bro. I don't tell, I did really tell my kid, the kids, nah. I really tell them nah, bro. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I really tell them nah, man. I really tell them nah. We go in the mall or the store. Me and Nene was just in, um, we was just in, um, Northbrook Mall. On everything, the, my son with us. It's Nene's birthday now. You ain't getting shit. You know, before we got in the van, I whispered that to him, playing with him. He goes straight to the Michael Jordans. I want these. Ring them up, man. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Why not? I got it, bro. I got it. If I walked outside and got hit by, the, hey, he'll remember that. You hear me? He, he, he took care of us on everything, bro. I get them what they want, bro. I don't hustle because like, I remember when I can't. How, how many, uh, I don't know, like the ages of your children, but how many kids do you have? I got four kids all together. I got four kids. And what's the, like, the, the, like the relationship with them? Um, all of them under the same I, household? I got, or, except or, one of my kids I ain't got. Okay. One of my kids is... You know, she stayed with her mother. But yeah, um, my son older, so my son, he older. Uh, I can't reveal that, cause- Oh, for sure, for sure, do you your know, thing. Yeah. One of them might say something about me bonding them, and he might come get you. You know, you ain't gotta worry about me. That's a nigga look like, no, nah, I'm just fine. But um, 
Yeah, my kids' age is my daughter. My daughter going to um, freshman in high school. For sure. Shout out so to her. That's Shout good. out to your kids, man. Yeah, she freshman in high school, man. Going, going, doing good. Good, um, good, good grades. Good grades. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what's up. And all girls school too. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Focus. No, I, I want to focus. I want her to focus, man. My little sister excelling. Went to all girls school. Oh, okay. Excelling. You hear me? Through college, through Clark Atlanta right now. Set doing that print. thing, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Doing that thing in Clark Atlanta. So I want my daughter to, Shout out to flourish. Her. Yeah, I want them to flourish. My son, you know, he going to be with us. Uh, I, I told Nene, he going to be living with us too when he about 30 probably. I mean, it's just the real, man. <laughs> it, it's some he kid, ain't freeloading, is he? Yeah, some, <laughs> no, he ain't no freeloader, but he one of them like, he just used to us, man. He ain't used to nobody, bro. He used to us. Like, he he shy. He don't want to be, like, he'll be on business. Like, around us, he don't do business. But other people, he don't. Is that mellow? Is that the yeah, one you say mellow? Like, kind of, I hear you say his name all the time. Yeah, okay. yeah, he don't like kicking it with motherfuckers. Is he the, that's the youngest one? Yeah, he the youngest. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see, I ain't trying to get too deep in your personal, personal. Oh, no, nah, it's cool, man. It's cool, man. At least, at least you saying, asked me, man. You're talking about fatherhood. Yeah, yeah, at least you asked me, and at least you, you know what I'm talking about? You respectful, man. Hey, and to the niggas out there, man, hey, when you can't get trenches news, man, it ain't no cool thing, man, to go out there as family, bro. It ain't no cool thing, bro. Because um, you're going to pay for it one day. I'm telling you, you're going to pay for that shit, whether from me or whether from God, whether you hit that light pole and your car slip or whether your engine go out. Something going to happen. You know what I'm talking about? You don't play with nobody kids, bro. Like, I might talk about anybody on YouTube, but I don't play with their kids, bro. On that thing. I don't play with their kids. I don't play with kids. I don't, I don't do that shit. Like, I don't involve nobody else because I could destroy you. Well, I need to bring up somebody. Oh, I don't need no help. I don't need my mom to help me with no, with no business, with no function on YouTube. On that thing, I destroy shit by myself. On that thing, bro. Any nigga play with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat and I'm going to score off you. And I'm going to do views off you. And that motherfucking money young going to go up off you. On that thing. But I just do it on my own time. People be trying to geek you up to think you going to respond to something so they can get some views. Like, nah, that ain't me. I'm, I respond on my own time. On that thing. I might respond after you use all your notifications up. I might respond. Just cause you just cause I seen you sharing it. You know? Just cause I seen you put my name in it. I ain't gonna do no story about it for a month. And then after that, when that month come, I'm gonna wait till you use all your notifications on some bullshit video. Then I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> you know? You strategic. Yeah, man. I'm strategic, it's bro. Chest, not I chest. got something for everybody who think they slick, bro. I got something for everybody, bro. I just be on my own world though. Like, I don't, I don't look at YouTube no more, Instagram. I don't look at that shit, bro. Like, I get real calls from the rural about Lil Jeff now. Like, I ain't got to be on YouTube no more. People call my phone, touch my phone from around them, these areas. They tired of the shit. They tired of people dying and shit. It's a lot of concerned citizens that hit me up. YouTube, Instagram, all that shit, bro. Like, we tired of this shit, bro. Keep keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> A couple, a couple more for you, man. I really appreciate the time, Swipe, bro. Not to be on, on no negative stuff, but um, I, I do want to get your perspective on this, man. With uh, um, Cali Platform, No Jumper, they got a Chicago wave going. They've been had it going for some months now. You were on No Jumper. Interview went viral. You know, you haven't really been back since then, but for the most part, the people that they bring on there from Chicago, they, they, they. They bring your name up. They ask them about you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, normally, um, the responses are, or how the question is phrased, you know, they how it's presented. It, it, it can be, it can, it can be, it can be negative. You know what I'm saying? Just being straightforward with it. But did something happen behind the scenes, man? That's leading to like just the the negative coverage on that particular platform. I mean, it's millions of people to tune in. You feel yeah, me? you know, they always just talking about me. You is know it, what I'm talking about? What's the about? reason behind it, though? Um. DJ, you had, first of all, I had asked Adam for a certain amount of money. I asked him for 20K for an interview. That, and he said it on his No Jumper. Y'all go back and look at that because he said it too. That was a reason. And when I went on DJ, you, DJ, you had asked me. He said, what's going on, gang? How was your No Jumper? 
And I was like, hey, look, fuck no jumper. I ain't going on that. They trying to turn everybody against each other. I peeped it. I'm smart. You know what I'm talking about? Only a clout chasing ass nigga will go up on there just talk about somebody because they ain't got shit. You know what I'm talking about? A weirdo. People who used to get robbed in the street, beat up. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I ain't got to go through that. I don't need no jumper. The fuck I need no jumper for and I'm making 50 a month. On that thing. I don't need no, they need no jumper. They need no jumper. I don't. On that thing. They going on that motherfucker for free at that though. On for free. They going on there. On that thing, bro. I could call the lady, bro. I don't know if she there right now, but I'll call the lady, bro. On my mama so you can hear it. She gonna say, we do not pay anybody. Free fly out. Only ones getting paid is butter, driller, people like driller now, um, Bezu, me, butter. We just had your boy Vaughn on there. Vaughn of uh, yeah, Vaughn, he he hot right now, so yeah. he getting some money. Everybody else going on that bitch for free, bro. On that thing, every motherfucking body else going out there for a flight. Anybody else you seen on that bitch went out there to talk about a motherfucker, and they channel still ain't shit. You hear me? Like, you going out there talking about me and your channel still ain't shit. That's useless. You hear me? And then, like, like you out there talking with Adam, but you, you got to face reality when you get home. So, when you out there talking about other people on there, like, out of them shit starters, bro. Like, they, they get on there. Oh, they bring drill up there. Oh, um, well, dude from 4-6 them said that you a goofy and that dude, him and Remo. That's some that's some bullshit that they own, bro. Oh, oh, so so um Bill, he told Bill, you know, somebody said that they did something to you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to keep the shit up. I ain't with that. I ain't gotta go on no platform to bash nobody and do my thing. You hear me? Lace the track. I ain't gotta do nothing. I ain't gotta do none of that. That's the difference between me and these niggas. And they be mad. Cause they be trying to figure me out. That's why I start talking to people. I stopped talking to a lot of people, bro, because niggas be trying to figure me out, bro. Mm. And I'd be damned if, if you think you're going to figure me out. Like, nah, I ain't going to talk to you every day. Nobody on that thing, bro. I don't talk to nobody every day. Nobody. Not my brothers and nobody. Ain't nobody going to know my schedule. Like, for real. You ain't going to know You ain't gonna know how I'm coming or where I'm coming from. Like, nah, I, 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 I ain't on that type of time. And the only reason why people be wanting to see my background they be trying to think they going to know something. You know, like, you trying to, when a nigga come through and say, oh, man, why you don't never show your background, your face? You know, you trying to, you ain't worried about the message. You worried about trying to see where I'm at, you okay, know? So, yeah. <clears throat> that's why I just shut everything out, man. I'm smart, man. I think militant, and I'm going to be here for 99 more years, and I'm going to report about all these crash outs that's going to crash out. I'm going to report about it. Hmm. I'm going to be here. Man. Cause I ain't gotta go nowhere. When you got shit already, you ain't gotta do nothing. I ain't gotta never come out of my house. Again. You gotta come out of my house. I got my avenues already built. On everything. I ain't gotta come out of my house. My kids old enough, go and get the money. Pick oh, up the sure. money from here, 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 here. That's like sure. an old man. You hear me? For sure. So I I I I'm just gonna that's what I'm gonna do at this point, because it's dangerous. So I gotta do what I gotta do, right? No, that's no, that's one hundred swipe. It seemed like you're on the right path, man. Despite like the the obstacles that have been placed in your way for years now, you don't overcame everything, bro. I don't you... overcame it all, man. Like for real, bro. And going up against the whole YouTube, bro. Like for real, bro. Yeah. I go, I go up against the whole YouTube. Like everybody hate me, but they steal my shit. Everybody hate me, but they try to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody hate me, but you talk about them. When you hate a person, what do you do? Mm. You don't, you don't want to be bothered with them. You ain't finna say nothing about them. You know what I'm talking about? Because you don't... They got to talk about me, though. Fans. Yeah. They love me, man. They really love me. Yeah, that's like you said, hate. That's secret love, huh? Yeah. Confused love, man. Just lastly, bro, uh, man, what you think about... You know, we, we talked about the little Jeff, man. He was somebody who was on the rise, but... You know, he was gunned down, taken out. I mentioned the dude, Vaughn, off 1700. He's still around, but he, you know, kind of got the same type of approach musically. A lot of drill-related stuff. You know, you see the lives and this, that, and the third, man. What do you think the climate's going to be like for him in the next year or so? You see him kind of transitioning if he gets the opportunity to get, a, get away. Man, out. them niggas about to die. 
you know you about to die when you in a house with your mask on and your guns walking around that motherfucker. You know you you ain't got nothing going on in life, bro. If you got, hey, look, bro, if you got to walk around in your house with a gun or have them bitches out like that, like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Like, nah. Hey, hey, you, you looking to die on everything, bro. I ain't got to worry about that shit. On my house, I got I got gutters now that could come down, you know, like over the windows and oh, everything. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I could over my door and everything. I could put shadows on my door. Like I could put the gutters. I could pull I know what down over my door. It's 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 a metal screen that's the side of my door that's gonna come down, bro, and lock down my door all over my windows and everything, bro. I got all that shit put in. I got cameras everywhere. Three sixty vision. If you come across past a certain part. Uh, 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 the street is gonna go off. It's gonna let me know that you right here on everything, bro. Don't nobody live next to me for miles on everything, bro. So that's how I got it. So if I see a car even come through here, like you out of bounds, cause ain't no cars can drive through here. This is a road. You know what I'm talking about? It's it's full. It's full. It's one, one, two, one, one mile, like three miles, three blocks up. Then it's probably another house. Then about another mile. It's another house. Oh, okay. You know. So, so you kind of secluded then. Yeah, I'm secluded, bro. I, I had to make sure. You know, when people play with your family on the internet, you got to go all out now. You know, you got to put your family up somewhere high so they won't be touched. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm willing to go lower than the basement for my family. I'm willing to go there. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. I'm willing to go lower than the basement for my family. On there, that I'll go low with a motherfucker about them. On everything, bro. But I try to avoid it at all costs. You know, so I got the money to move them. I'm moving them every time if a nigga even say something. I seen you in Tennessee coming out the what the back door. I'm gone. You hear me? I can move tomorrow. So I'm cool with that. But yeah. For sure. Just don't let nobody know where you at no more or none of that. You know, that's all. Just keep your shit to yourself. And, you know, I had fucked up in the town that I used to be in because I had... You know what I'm talking about? Let a nigga come to my crib. Oh, so sure. that's how they drop, ended up dropping my low when they got mad because they got kicked off my channel. That's how they ended up dropping it because I let this I let this one nigga come to my crib. But uh, never again, though. You mm -hmm. see how you learn in life? You mm -hmm. see how I'm winning? For sure. Hey, ever since you've been interviewing me, bro, I done came up big time. See, they don't, and they don't know. They be thinking like, you know what I'm talking about? They be thinking like, oh, man, this nigga cap. The, the property that you was on. Oh, yeah. The property that you was on alone. You hear me? That, that's a fucking block. Whole block. That's a whole block. Multiple businesses. On their thing, bro. That's why I be trying to tell them. They could believe they could believe the bullshit if they want to. I ain't got a lot no more, man. I ain't got a lot no more, bro. I ain't got a lot of fake it to make it or none of that shit, bro. I, I got it. It's about holding on to it now. You know? And I calculate everything and go. I calculate everything, bro. Oh, that's Anything right. that's been spun for the week, I know about. And if it's overspent, oh, we ain't doing that next week. Yeah, this know. cut out, this cut out. I write down everything, bro. I write down everything as far as like my finances or what we spent from oil changes to everything, you know. And happy birthday to Nene, man. Just in case you see this, Nene, your birthday Saturday. But just in case you see this. I love you, baby, on that thing. You the coldest, one of the coldest women in the, in the world, man. And a lot of women, you know, a lot of men need women like you. I love you, baby. Oh, that's 100, man. That's, we 100. Can, uh, that's how we can close it, man. Shout out to your family, bro. Any any uh, lasting words, man, you want to put out there to the youth, to the viewers, oh, yeah. man? What's on the First horizon of all, for you? I want to say shout out to the Mod Squad, Queen Lotus, BZ Baby, NC. Chris Parlow, Sparks Visual, Joe the Mob, Savage Black, Made Media Magazine. Shout out Joe the Mob. Shout out Big Dog, Jesky, and Street Code, man. Shout out all y'all, man. EBK EO, humble, humble coming for you, man. Muna, humble coming for y'all, man. Time for him to get them real boss. Y'all make sure y'all showing some love, man. Um, but to the youth, man, hey. Patience, man. You got to be patience, bro. Ain't shit coming overnight. Can't nobody make you rich overnight or none of that, man. 
Um, far as like the killing and the, the streets this summer, man, y'all be safe, man. Y'all be safe, man. I can't even tell y'all where to come and visit at and y'all be safe, man. You can't trust no area, man. So y'all be safe. But to the shorties that's out there, I'm going to tell you like this. You ain't got to believe me. You can hate me. You can say, oh, he got on the stand and we ain't trying to hear that shit. But look at this. The motherfucker who telling you to go and shoot or to put the gun in your hand. When the last time he had one in his hand. This trench is news. My mind is my nine. I'm out.